In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. In the criminal justice This was my most challenging week I have ever lived. I felt like Christ getting murdered at the cross. This week, Sean and I had, had a huge argument that almost ended the podcast. Was it about money or women? No. It was about something more important. Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Thoughtless Experiment. Welcome back. Oh, man. We had a, we had a weekend. We did. <laughs> it... it Josh, it got to the point of the podcast for like a second, for like a good minute, was done. Really? <laughs> Not in my oh, mind. In my mind. Oh, you. Yeah, you were way angrier than I was. I wasn't even angry. Oh. You weren't angry because you were, you were, you, you were speaking foolish things. By the way, Tony, <laughs> this podcast is takes on the news. Don't come in here with the reality TV bullshit. What do you I mean? broke up with my girl. <laughs> what do you mean? I was upset. I don't want I don't want episode 150 to be <laughs> like Tony breaks up with Sean again. Exclamation point. It's takes on the news. Which <laughs> speaking of the news, we had a huge fight. <laughs> Everybody was reporting about it. Everybody was talking about the fight between Tony and Sean. TMZ came over to the house and I said, We need some privacy, <laughs> goddammit. You don't know what's real. I don't know what's real and what's <laughs> fake anymore. What's part of the show and what's real. <laughs> Hey, you chose gonna, this life. We're gonna bitch. get like DMs from like people that listen. I'm Yo. team. I'm team Tony. <laughs> we should team shot. Team Tony. Team Sean. <laughs> that's aw- That's actually team Tony has a has a ring to it. Team Tony. I wouldn't be on team Tony, but it has a ring to it. <laughs> TS Who's all team the way. Would you be on? Team Sean. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'd rather just be a viewer. I'm on team Josh. Actually, I'm not even on my own team. <laughs> that, you, you know what the sad truth would be? What? Eighty percent would be on Team Josh. <laughs> they would be like, "Josh is the one that Josh is the only reason the episode comes out on time." You know, Josh is like the stable mind of the podcast. I'm the stable person. I think so. Yeah, you keep us focused. You keep us going. Now when we're you- like mice in a cage, and you're the scientist that puts the cheese at the end of the obstacle. Or the crack. That's a crack, but crack cheese. Yeah. You think I am, but I'm really the rat. I'm still getting poked by another scientist, and I'm doing an experiment on you while they're doing an experiment. Oh, he's the me. rat scientist. Yeah. yeah. It's like At Biggie, least you it's have like a lab the... coat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have lab coats. Yeah, we don't even have a doctorate. So uh, was it to the point of f- almost fisticuffs? No. We're not violent. We're we're not violent people, I think, like that. Uh, I maintained a cool and collected head the whole time. Well, Tony got extremely emotional and let, and let it get to him. Ooh, that made, that pissed him off even more. You yeah. you were gaslighting him. No, the thing was, I was I no, the did. thing that was upsetting. He me, was gaslighting. The thing that was upsetting me about what he was doing, and then we'll get to the story. Was he was saying things that weren't factual. Mm-hmm. So we let's give background. We went to go see Steven Spielberg's new movie, The Fablemans. Me, David Senefani, and Sean. And I thought, like, oh, this isn't a Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. This is a movie Sean might actually enjoy. Steven Spielberg doing a biopic about his childhood. It's about like pursuing your dream. Something we're doing. Like uh, it, it might be a nice, feel good movie, right? Get to the movie. We're about. It's us three and one other guy sitting in front of us. And then a row ahead of us. Uh, row ahead of us, and we're about five minutes into the movie, and uh, the mom hugs like the husband's friend. And Sean out loud goes, whore! <laughs> Instantly just yells, whore. No, so I, yeah, no, you're no, five no. You're five minutes in is, or cuck. You yell one it of was, It was like 10 minutes in. Okay. okay thanks. But, and, and also, here's what happened. If you've actually, which, by the way, go see the movie and, and let us know if you, if you agree with me that it was a corny, uh, corny piece of trash. <laughs> Garbage. But you kept on. Let me just finish. Flaming. Real quick. Go ahead. So, the the movie is about how his mom. Spoilers. I was, I was cheats like, cheats on the dad for the friend. It's a whole emotional thing about Steven Spielberg's childhood, and he kept on going like, "Or oh, cock." Yeah. He just kept on yelling. And who was she, Sean? 
Uh, he's not. He's not yelling at the characters. He's yelling at somebody that he's exactly. putting it but together. Just real quick. Just real quick. So that happens. I'm yelling at myself. And my thing is <laughs> that instantly was pissing me off. Mm-hmm. Even if I hated the movie, people that do that that yell. I didn't yell to, whore. You, you did. It was loud. I was Sean. like, I go whore. This is about a whore. To yeah, but the thing is, it was loud I whispered. enough. I, I, yeah, I whisper yelled. Yeah. This is about a whore. But the thing That's is, it's loud yell. enough for the guy to hear it, and also you want. Us to laugh at you, which our laugh would then ruin the energy of the theater. Even if it's you another go, guy, that what? upsets me. You people like you ruin movie theaters, and are the reason that movie theaters might shut down. You're gro- Is people okay. like you that make jokes? That's crazy. And talk? Movie theaters are going to shut down because it's a failing business no. model, and they didn't evolve, Tony. Not because of me. Not because of guys that talk during it's the theater. Your, it's your energy. Are yeah. you fucking kidding me, no, Tony? I mean, if movie theaters it's shut Netflix. down. If movie theaters shut you're down, you're blaming me for yeah. the destruction yeah. of people the movie like industry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, people like you. Write a better script. Like, no, no. Steven no, no, no. Spiel, It's you pe- and people who shoot up movie theaters yeah. are the ones ruining. Uh, maybe and I will. Honestly, <laughs> oh, shit. All right, don't do that. Write a better script. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I have scripts so in the he's tank. Doing you that. don't even know. He's doing that. Yeah. But the breaking point was this movie is getting at me at an emotional level because it's about Steven and his relationship with his mother. And uh, there were like lines in situations that I had experienced with my mom mm. that really got to me. He called your mom that. And the, it head. was literally the first time there's yeah. a scene, and it's a yeah. serious scene. The mom like runs out of the car. It's emotional. <laughs> Son chases after her, and she's sitting there <laughs> so, defeated. It's honestly really she's funny. She's sitting there defeated, and Sean just <laughs> <She's>... goes, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like, yeah, out loud. Can I pause you, Josh? Am I can I at least pause? quick. Let me just finish the sentence. At that point, my emotions are bubbling up, and I have tears running down my (laughs) eyes because I'm crying because it's an emotional scene, something I've experienced, and I'm crying. And then I just hear Sean go, "Ah!" (laughs) (laughs) "That's the greatest thing!" Like an evil asshole. Ah, She's (laughs) insane. It was. It was. You know what was funny about the scene? What? She's running to this fence. Which, because her circumstance, I don't feel bad for her, because her circumstances are not that bad. She, <laughs> she gets to, she gets to a beautiful ranch, yeah. probably near Beverly Hills or Bel Air. Gorgeous, at least five or six acres, right? <laughs> yeah. Her her husband is an incredibly successful uh, engineer and technologist. Yes, uh, <laughs> and is is revolutionizing the industry. They're probably like worth tens of millions. Yeah. Um, but she's a she's a whore. She's a cheating, cheating. You know why you didn't like this movie? Is because you related to Spielberg's dad, and you're the guy that's getting cheated cheated on for the funny best friend. Because he was like the more. No, it's all about the career. You know, we gotta make the money. You know what? Get you a train set, and you're not like a bad dad, but you're a little distant. Quit your dreams. It's about the career. I would never tell. You related. I quit you my related. career for my dreams, Tony. Because I bet you, you were in a situation where you liked a girl and she chose your funny friend over you. Am I wrong? No, my friends and I never got pussy. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> You're wrong. About that. So, Kabaz, at this point, yeah. I get up and I move back around. <laughs> because, no, seriously, because yeah. I'm like actually into the movie. This What's movie David is- doing? David's like, he kind of gets it. David was like 50 50. He just sat, stayed there. Yeah, yeah. But he was like, he. I made like three comments. No, but I, the, I, I the said, breaking I, I point, called the guy. You cuck. going, ah, ah. Okay, but let me ask During you this. During an Tony, emotional scene? Are you, are, you, I, are you high? No, sober. Let me, let me ask you this, okay? I wasn't, and this is me being totally honest. I, there are times where I've been in movies and I've laughed, but I ha- I've like fake laughed. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, ha, 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 because that's the way I make fun of scenes that aren't are supposed to be funny. Like, like it's a, like it's a dumbass fucking joke, and everyone goes, Duh! and I go, ah, ha, ha, the the so funny. I do that to make fun of them for laughing. It's yeah. such a shitty joke. But in this, scene- but in this scene, I wasn't fake laughing. It was a real, genuine laugh. <laughs> Sean's that was wires the only. Her pain. It was the only. Yeah. <laughs> laugh I got because she's sitting there in her be- like big red sunglasses with her fucking sunflower hat going. <gasps> yeah, but Sean, I think I think the point of the movie that you're not getting is the mom was a pianist who decided not to follow her dreams, instead go for the money. And her, th- the symbolism of the movie is 
She has, you know, she's on this nice acre. She has the nice glasses. They have the nice car, and she's still sad. That's what Steven's trying to say. And that's That's what funny. Spielberg is trying to say. Is, is that not funny? Spielberg's trying to say is if you are if you have a passion and you quit it to chase the bag, it's not going to make to you happy. Tony, Tony, Tony. Sean's emotionally retarded. I know. So you Dude, can't. No, but the you thing can't is, explain this to him. I know, not in a bad, I know, not I know, in a bad way. I know. <laughs> but Kabaza, so I'm actually like a fed. To the, so I go, if I'm gonna like, you're very emotional. Yeah. yeah. My thing is, if I'm gonna tear up for this movie, I don't want to be next to that. Yeah. Because then he'll make jokes about me, and also I don't want. I wouldn't. I don't want it to build up, and the guy in front of us were ruining the experience for him because yeah. he's into the movie. Did he turn so, around and look at you? Like, he's never looked at us. He never turned his head around. I made. He was mad. Literally, at the end of the movie, he stood up, looked at you, and went <laughs> <laughs> like the Undertaker. I literally, I was. Let he, me tell you. Now that Tony's told his exaggerated no, narrative, no, it's not even done. Let me it's, let me fit it real All quick. Right. So, um, end of the movie, I cried two more times. Mm-hmm. It's like it got me. This movie got me because it's a biopic. And not just that, it got me, and it was like there were like moments. Like there was a. My mom had just left uh, back to Germany. There was a conversation between him and his mom, and like my mom said the exact same sentence she said. Mm. But we're hugging, and she goes, Ooh, so "Never give he... up on your dream." And it was like this emotional. It killed me, Josh. Yeah. It killed me. Yeah, I'm like for like three minutes just bawling. Corny, so corny. It killed me. And we get outside, and I go, "I liked." I go, "I love that movie." David's like, "Yeah, that movie was good, man. It was a little long." And I was like, "Yeah, it could have been twenty minutes shorter, but it's Spielberg. He he's earned it." Mm-hmm. Sean, what did you think of the movie? <laughs> he, didn't go, he didn't just go, "Hey, man, I didn't like it. It's a little corny." That was your first. That was your no, mistake. No, but if though. he goes, if mistake. he goes, if he would have went, <laughs> yeah, that, thank went, you, Josh. If he would have went, I didn't like it. A little corny. It's a little melodramatic. I would have been like, "Yeah, but I enjoy melodramatic." But you can have that opinion. I'm not mad at his opinion. It's how he said it. He goes, Very "Matter of fact." He goes, "That movie, fucking hat." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes. People don't talk like that. Those emotions were hacked. And I go, Sean, I've lived I, those emotions. I didn't, so say basically, the, I didn't say the emotions were the hacked. The emotional scenes you said were hacked. I said, the, again, I said, <laughs> see, now I can't remember what I actually said. You said the emotional scenes in the movie were hacked. Then at one point he yeah, goes, the emotional why didn't scenes. they bring up black people during that time? Why weren't they talking about segregation in schools in the South? And I go, that's not what the movie's about, Sean. The movie isn't about that right now. And he goes, that movie didn't deal about racism at all. And I go, you can't the tell whole me- third act, the bullies call him uh, Bagelman because he's Jewish. They hang a bagel in his locker that says Jew boy on it. I go, the whole third act is about racism in America. Uh, uh, b- so he, not- just, he went on just lies about the movie. Yeah. He's saying things like, and then we. Am I wrong that there was no black people in the movie? There was no, were, but like Sp- Steven, you can't tell me Steven Spielberg didn't live his whole life uh, in the movie industry. When he was or, in Arizona, half his friends were Mexicans because that's his life. He said he grew up in no, Arizona. Did we see any Mexicans in the, Arizona? Yeah, the whole tri- when he made that Cowboys and Indians movie, half the movie. We're brown kids playing the Indians. I didn't see any. Those brown were his kids. Mexican friends from his. Because you didn't want to see it, Sean. <laughs> the thing is, you didn't. They weren't want it. brown enough for me. Yeah, they weren't brown enough for him. Oh, you didn't see racism, even he though has the to whole. Go, I am Latino. Even though, <laughs> even though the whole third act is about racism, so that's what upset me was he didn't like the. My thing is, if he wouldn't, if he didn't like the movie, that's fine. Everybody has their own opinion on art. But it's when you don't like a movie, and then you have to make up bullshit why you didn't like it. That's what upset me. And I'm like emotional, and you just keep fucking hitting it down. And then when we called you out and said, no, this was in the movie, or, oh, this is a movie about his life. Why should he make up shit just to fit your narrative? You're just like, bad movie. Should have dealt with different topics. You done? I'm done. Say your piece. It was upsetting. It like at yeah. one point. And what do you give the movie? <laughs> out of ten. At one point, Josh, I looked at I looked at this is how pissed I was. I looked at Sean and I go, "You're a cynic that's gonna die alone." <laughs> and you know what's funny is, 
I, I'm so con. I'm, and he told me I was like, "You're not happy, Sean. You're miserable." And the thing is, I happy. I've been thinking a lot about this. <laughs> happy, true. You know what? You know what? You know what? People are like, "Can't you let me enjoy this?" Yeah. You know. You know who doesn't say stuff like. Can't you let me enjoy this? <laughs> Happy people don't say shit like that. Miserable fucking is, losers is that want to start an argument. I hey, I that was his what, demeanor, right? What's yeah, yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is some? <laughs> let me make a point. Let me make a point. What is something that I like that you guys don't like? <laughs> so, Libertarianism. Yeah. I know. I'm kidding. That. What's something that like I like that you guys don't like? I don't know. Um... Like a movie, like a movie, like something like League of Legends. Red Hot Chili Peppers. I don't mind, Sean. The thing is, League of Legends continues. Okay, and I'm not saying you do this, but just for example, if if you guys said if you walked in on me playing League of Legends, yeah, you know, I'm in a really low, I'm in a low, low, yeah, I'm playing League of Legends, right? I like it, and you go, Sean, like, are you seriously playing? You're okay, like. Nothing better to do, play a League of Legends. Okay, you know I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. Can you let me join it? Can you <laughs> let people let people enjoy it? I wouldn't say that because I don't need to tell you. Yeah, but Sean, that don't... that I don't need to defend my behavior to you because I'm happy. But Sean, you I'm know what happy. You, do? you know what you do? <laughs> Where if I would have walked in and see you play League of Legends, I would say something like, "Oh, I'm glad you like this game. I just can't. It's not a game for me." I just don't like those kind of games, and I would let you play it. The thing is, you're the guy that walks in when you would walk into a theater full of ch sick children watching Marvel, and they're clapping. You would go, oh, you <laughs> idiots like this? Let me guess the next scene. Iron Man gets sick, but in the third act, he comes back and saves the day. You and can then, see it a mile away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the one that just belittles anything that makes people happy. Let I... Well, Just let, let people me... be happy. The thing oh, is, what oh, you do. Look at me is, preempting what you're. The thing your is, take. what you do is, you just don't have an opinion. You like to. Are you fucking, kidding me? No, you like to beat it in, and you you don't like to just say I didn't like that movie. You like to go, I didn't like that movie, X Y Z, and then you go, and if people like that movie, you're retarded. I okay. I've said that about Marvel, and I stand by that. You're you're both right, and you're both wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're 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 right because he equates that movie to him. That was him in that movie. That was his family. And you said some derogatory things about that lady who he equates to his mother. Right? Exactly. Dude, also, the third though, time you I started wrong. crying, the third time I started crying, I go, Oh no, I have mommy issues. <laughs> like I in the movie I noticed, like, ah shit. But, yeah. But Tony was wrong because you know Sean. Yeah. Why would you do that? The thing is, I thought if you play with a snake, you're gonna get bit. I know. I thought, oh, I'm going to take him to this movie. It's <laughs> all uh, <laughs> <So> Cobra. <laughs> Fake laughing. Yeah. Um, I come from a land in a far away place. <laughs> you should not go here, Tom. Oh, shit. That's what I should do when you, oh. hey, Sean, want to go to a movie? Go, uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm never. Terrible gonna... things will happen. <laughs> Dude, it was, in my opinion, my rating of the movie, I would give it like a eight out of ten. It, it's probably favorite movie of the year, and probably one of the best movies in the last like five ten years. Okay, it's amazing. I'm gonna... I think I think it is. I will agree with you. It is a little melodramatic. There are some cheesy dialogue moments, but that's Spielberg. That's what he does, and he's the best at that kind of movie. It's not like you know. And if I I tell people, which this is surprising. I tell people, if you're like out there wanting to chase a dream and you're in the thick of it, watch it because it's about a boy dealing with: Do I follow my dream? Do I keep going? Which I thought you would. Like, oh, that but... reminds me. Actually, that's the that's my was my least favorite part of the movie is Why? the one is where like we're arguing afterward. We go to the theater, and I'm like, uh, you know, uh, like I was like, that's a hack. And Tony's like, it was about following your dreams. Shouldn't you love that? Because like you're trying to follow your dreams and be an artist. And I was like, it's not honest because let's be totally real. Most people fail at trying to achieve their dreams. And I'm not being pessimistic by saying that. A lot of people don't make it. Most people don't. And so, you know. Yeah, but most people that don't make it, I don't think 
are actually pursuing the dream. What this You're, move? No, no, not, no. I do. I I think most people that have some kind of talent. I'm the libertarian, and, work, and you're saying no. You I think most people that have a, some kind of talent with it and actually work hard. Yeah, not everyone's going to become the multimillionaire driving the sports car, but you'll make a you'll make your dream your job, and you can pay your bills if you have talent and work ethic. That's what that movie shows. Is Spielberg at a young age had the talent. And he had the eye for film. And he was a hard fucking worker. That's what that movie's showing. I disagree. I think you look around. What about when he... So at the end of the movie, Steven Spielberg... We know people. We know people that, yeah, that aren't like big names, but they've been doing it for a long time. And yeah. Why'd you point at me? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we know cop, we've Sean, been, I'm on your side completely. 100%. <laughs> but we know people that have yeah. been doing it. And it's like... Look at us! Like we're we're making money here and there. We're paying some bills with our dream, and it's not that level. It's but it's about just keep pushing. No, and you know what I? But the he has no heart. Stevens at it's, the end of the movie. Tough. At the end of the movie, Steven Spielberg sends eight letters to different uh, movie movie like CBS and Warner Brothers and stuff, right? Yeah. And he's looking through all the mail. And he's like, I, I sent. He's such a pussy. I sent out eight letters, and no one got back to me. And then the dad looks at the letters, and he's like, Wait a minute, Stephen. There's one right here. You don't and know. Stephen you, goes. You, you missed the oh. point. That, you missed the point of that 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 scene. The dad was hiding the letter because he didn't want his son to pursue film. He wanted his son to finish college. And then him going like, Oh, you might. You must have missed a letter in the mail even though he went through all of the mail. And earlier in the scene, you see him grab something from the stack. That's the dad. He probably got other letters, and the dad threw them away. Every point you're making, you missed the point of the entire scene. But the, what, You my, missed the point. You can't Tony, say that's getting, a bad scene. Getting any letters back from Warner Brothers is a fucking fic, fic, It's a fiction. No, that's what happened. This is a true story about what happened. Yeah, but I'm saying that... Sean, How many people? My first, my first. This is what he was like. No, no, no. Afterwards, my, the thing is, it's not fictitious because I know people and I've had experiences just like that. My first job on a feature film was I emailed, open emailed a director my reel and got a PA job that paid two grand a month on a feature film, which is that version of writing a letter. <sighs> That's what you almost got a job at Funny or Die by writing, cold emailing the person who runs Funny or Die. Yeah. Did you not? It didn't work out. But no, you <laughs> you declined the job. You got a job offer at Funny or Die that you declined by cold emailing or writing oh, it, a me? digital letter. It was a LinkedIn message, which is totally different. But that's what I'm saying. You say, oh, that's hacked. That would never happen. Even though you've done that and yeah. it's happened to you. Yeah. So you can't but knock the movie for that. Just I had the economic means to create a website. You can't knock the movie because Steven Spielberg went on to be Steven Spielberg. That you're jealous. You Ooh. are. That's why you hate Elon Musk. Because you never made it. Because you didn't get the job at SpaceX. Look, I I'm love Elon. I'm a huge fan of you him. Hate and people, anyone that says I don't like Elon's wrong. You hate people that have actually made it in the industry and are trying to dizzle down some hope to other people. You're bitter. I am. <laughs> yeah. I am. I'll admit that. Doesn't mean the movie's not a hack and corny. It's a corny hack movie. <laughs> it's... it's... Yeah. I, yeah. When people, when people are at the top and they're like, you can do it too. Fuck you. But that's you good. You can do it too. I was just a <laughs> poor, I can't, blah, 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 blah. fuck you. Oh, you know, and don't don't tell me that, um, and by the way, I come from the fucking most privileged place in the goddamn world, the Silicon Valley. That's why you're so probably going to make it too. But the point, <laughs> the point, but no one's honest. It's the dishonesty. Steven Spielberg, and I read this in a lot of the reviews on IMDb, and they made a great fucking point. A lot of the reviews were like, they go, yeah. Well, I, Steven Spielberg's dad had the ability to buy him film equipment and fund his fund his hobby growing yeah. up, um, and to, for so? To, so he could get his reel 
to the to the people at Warner Brothers. Yeah, but Sean, but Sean, my thing is this: you look my at other people I know with the same passion in film, and they don't have the real because they come from poor neighborhoods. Sean, why don't you tell that side of the story, Steven? You fucking but s- the, the movie, selfish prick. The movie was his biopic. Who gives he a fuck? He grew up as a poor black boy. Sean, he grew yeah, up. But, he was telling yeah, but his story. What about poor black boys that watch that movie that want to be filmmakers? I don't think any poor black kids watch that movie. They watch. Thank you. They watch you know Spike why? Because it's trash, they and they know Spike, it's trash. They probably watch a Spike Lee movie. That's the director that should tell that story. Is someone like a Spike Lee, or you see the movie Dope that came out a few years ago? That's that story, Sean. Why should Stephen? Stephen's telling the story of his life, and the thing is, Sean, the movie wasn't about a guy, a kid. That yeah, his dad bought him on this film equipment that was bad at making films, but just because his dad had a connection, he became. He he went on to becoming this uh, successful film de- director. This was about a kid who was economically advantaged. Who his dream, his passion, his film almost ru- almost ruined his relationship with his mother because his movies. Cry me a river. Cry me a <sighs> fucking river. It's it's just you have no heart. You really have no. I, I want to make movies, and my mom fucked some guy. My life's so hard. Sean, the thing is, you've never had adversity, so that's why I've you had can't adversity. Re- no, you haven't. You you really haven't, though, in that aspect. That yeah, that my parents are together. Emotional drama, and that's the thing is, I've had. You it, look at it. Every as, family oh, has this drama. Is hack, this is bullshit. But most of the world looks at it like, oh, this is relatable. You just you have no. It's relatable. It's. I still relate to the movie Chasing Dreams. I'm a human being. Okay, <laughs> you're you're, char- you're, char- you're characterizing like anyone who doesn't like the movie is not a human being, no. and that's flat out wrong. No, plenty of people watched that movie and they said the same thing I did. The dialogue was garbage. It was casted horribly. Let's look at the art. You're looking. You're trying to say that I'm. You're doing all these ad hominems. The art like, was Sean, great. you don't like it because you're soulless. Why was the casting bad? I am bad? soulless, but that doesn't mean I can't have a fucking take on the bad movie. Why wasn't it's the a... casting good? The casting was fine. No, it wasn't. Why it was wasn't acted it so badly. Ugh, you know, the, char- the characters were written. There was no development with any of the sisters. His sisters had no no character development. I mean, the, the movie wasn't the, about a sister. The, they had a monkey. They buy a monkey. I mean, but like, that really happened. Who gives? Who that cares? That really happened, he, but, Sean. But he, he didn't. That really happened. It doesn't matter if it really happened. Yes, it's it not, does. If it's a part, if it's his biopic and his childhood, then it matters. All right. That it actually, nine out of ten. I give it a nine out of ten. No, you the, want, that's what do you the problem to with you. Is if this was a fictitious story, then yeah, maybe there was like some element. But if this actually happened, put it in the movie. Tony, Sean. here's the That's thing. That's like you writing you a movie it, about yourself, I, dude. I did I say I, you were wrong for giving it an eight out of ten? No. So if I give it a two, why can't I have my take? You can have your take, but have, I didn't attack you. Good, I didn't say Tony, you only liked it because your parents were divorced. Have good. I didn't <laughs> say that. I'm not going. I could go there. That's what you're doing. You did, you know. That's no, but I, Sean, I could go there. No, Sean. I just as as a critic. And I'm sorry for that ta- comment. No, it's fine. As a critic, I want I want you to be able to look at something and give it. You could if you say the casting was bad. You thought the dialogue was hacky. That's fine. I'll give you that. But when you say there was a monkey in the movie, fucking that's unrealistic. And then I say, no, Sean, but that actually happened in his life. And then you go, don't take it out anyway. I don't want the monkey in the movie. That's let's, not a good. Let's talk that's about not the monkey. A good, that's not a good criticism. Can we, can we talk about the, the scene with the where they're all eating dinner? Yes. And there's like three conversations happening at the same time. Yes. And David, I love you, man. I don't talk about David right now. David was like, yeah, there were like three conversations happening at once. That was so relatable. Families talk over each other. I'm like, families talk over each other? How? What is this, a fucking Tyler Perry movie? Families talk <laughs> over each other? Or like a fucking uh, uh, D- Disney Channel, uh, 7, 7 p.m. Disney Channel movie. You never, you never do the dip. Oh, there's a monkey. It's iCarly. You're doing iCarly, Steven Spielberg, you fucking hack piece of shit. Yeah. Jesus. Hack piece of shit. He wrote a lot. He did a lot of great films in the 80s and the 90s. Whatever he, whatever he was a director. I don't even fucking know. He, he's made a lot of great films in the 80s and 90s. Every other year... He gets nominated for an Oscar. He's one of he's one Doesn't, of the Oscars don't matter. He's one of the greatest Oscars living directors matter. ever. He, and, he can and do al- both. Also, when you're like, oh, and we got to move on from this. 
But it's, when you're like, oh, the movie was 20 minutes too long, but it's Steven Spielberg. Why are we giving him a pass? Why can't we judge things on their merit? Just no, be, because, any, anything you put out, you shouldn't be able to like. Don't yes. put it. Don't like conflate it with like his legacy. Fuck that, dude. No. Look at the art. Tarantino, the art is we bad. Give the, we give Tarantino the same pass. Tarantino. Once upon a time in Hollywood, there were a lot of like five, six, seven minute scenes of Brad Pitt just driving, and it's the scenery. The thing is, if if I directed a movie about that that same movie, if I directed a movie about you know the Manson fucking actor growing up. I wouldn't have the right to just show a six minute. Let's ask why why scene. why don't why don't you think so? Because I think when you're a new artist and you haven't gained the people's trust, people are gonna be like, oh man. The, is it the people's um, trust or the producers' trust or the investors' no, trust? That, everybody's trust. The audience, the producers, is they're gonna Who's be gonna like, actually tell you no? Like, oh man, you're... there's a six minute just driving scene. Did the guy yeah. like have to cut out a scene because the acting was bad? Is he trying to pad the runtime? Sure, but, but fuck but, what the fuck the, what the people think. The investors are people that are going to tell you no. You're going to say, as a new director, I have a vision for a movie, and I want to do this scene where they're se- where they drive for seven minutes. Who's going to? They're like, but yeah, the, they're, they're like, we're the pr- directors and the investors are going to tell you no. But Sean, the right? Th- yeah, the thing is, the movie was probably maybe like twenty minutes too long. But every scene that was in it the was movie, two hours too long. That, <laughs> that every scene that was in the movie. There wasn't a scene where I was like, "Oh, that didn't add anything to the plot." Every scene added something to the next scene. Everything was a like character <laughs> growth. Everything. So yeah, you don't have Every to like scene. the movie. You don't have to like the movie, but just when you're debating with someone, just take the L on that topic that we're debating. When it comes to oh, why take didn't the he? L? Br- yeah, no. why didn't he bring take up racism? Why didn't he bring up racism in the movie? Uh, the third I, act was about. Did racism. I not concede? I, I conceded. Uh, I conceded when you were like, "Oh, you know, like I'm not." I, I clarified. I'm not trying. And if you're listening and your parents are divorced, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but why, I'm not trying. Why is it funny? Tell us why. Because they broke up, <laughs> <laughs> and you had to have two houses. <laughs> it's like so. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's like just. Just don't get a divorce. Usually somebody has a condo. <laughs> um, right, or an apartment. Um, anyway, I'm not trying to invalidate your divorce or, or if you've gone through a divorce or if you've been around that. Like I said, I, I, I said to you, I love the marriage story. I love a marriage story. That movie was excellent. If you have, I recommend it. That's a movie about divorce that moved me emotionally. It moved the needle. This is a lifetime movie. This is a movie that could have oh, It's I'll, a lifetime movie. No, the movie. thing is, I will... I will agree with you. It is, at points, cheesy as fuck. It is... It reminded me of a very 70s and 80s movie. It was like... It was Spielberg making a 60s, 70s movie in modern time. He was kind of adding that feel of an old-timey movie in a modern movie, telling his childhood story, what the movies that made him fall in love with cinema. That was him... It was him recreating old movie. And, yeah, is it cheesy? yeah. I've had a buddy text me going like, eh, that movie wasn't for me. A little melodramatic. Didn't really, you know, the characters didn't really like the characters that much. The dad didn't like. And I was like, oh, cool, man. I get that. But it's the way you you can't read a situation. My, I literally so left, you're the mad. Mo- I left the movie theater red. My face was red. You could see the tear marks on my eyes. And you could tell, oh, shit, this movie hit Tony. And you could have gone like, you could have gone like, yeah, it wasn't really for me. And I would have been like, oh, why? And you're like, a little melodramatic, a little long. I would have been like, I get that. But when I asked you, which you saw that this movie changed me, that I, I had an experience. I go, hey, Sean, hey, friend, pal, you know, brother, a man I look at a, a, as a brother. I go, what, what do you think? Of the movie, you basically went dumb, and <laughs> anybody that likes it is stupid. People that cry during that movie have a little baby <laughs> dick. That's what I think. <laughs> and you instantly went to ten, and that's what sparked the so, argument. So you're mad at my vicious takedown yes. of the Fablemans. Yes. Well, I'm no. sorry that you're. I'm sorry that uh, you my didn't, take hurt you. You didn't just attack me. You didn't just attack Steven Spielberg. <laughs> you attacked. Half the Americans that have gone through divorce. You Good. Att- you attack. Good. 
<laughs> Good. Good. That's, a, that's a real friend, though. He tells you what he really feels. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I was like, telling, oh, you want me to like, you want me he to? He looked at me and said, "You're a fucking crybaby bitch." I did say yeah. that. That was the first thing I said. <laughs> he out of said, the, "You're a crybaby." He goes, baby. "What did you think of the failments?" I said, "I hate you." Yeah, he said, <laughs> "Wah wah wah." That's what you sounded like, baby. Bitch. That's a real. That's a real friend, right? It was there. aggressive, and it, it should be. It should be very aggressive. Yeah. I woke you up. <laughs> I shook you awake from the dream. <laughs> that Steven Spielberg casted upon you. I'm sorry I like those dreams. I don't need those dreams all the time, but I like those dreams sometimes. Did you, did you enjoy it when you were watching it? I, every minute. Every Great. scene I thought was amazing. Great. I thought, then you won. I hated it. I lost, Tony. I just hated, I lost I the just money. hated the way you My acted bet. in the movie theater. You acted like an uh, unlawful... Can I tell you what actually happened, Josh? You, I, uh, you're not funny I said, in those I situations. I said four comments. From the outside, said, a little bit. <laughs> I said four comments. So mean. Four <laughs> comments. Here's what I did when, when they were in the living room, right in the movie, the the husband's best friend grabs the wife from behind, <laughs> spins her around. Mm -hmm. I say, "Wow, this is about a cock." I know we're <laughs> no. watching a movie. Wait, he did it in say, front of the husband. Yes. Oh fuck no. Yes. You didn't say. No, and then this I said, "This is about a cock." You said, "Ha, cock." No, I said, <laughs> "I said, I said, cock." It's a cock. And you then said, ah, it's a cock. And there's nothing wrong with being a cock. But it's just it's, I just uh. point it out. And then and then when the uh when the wife they're out camping and I'll spoil this I'll, I'll spoil it. They're camping the what's the spoil anyway. Um the guy ends up making movies. That's the spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> Steven Spielberg uh, ends up making yeah. uh, anyway. So I make like and then I call her I go whore. <laughs> and, then, and I a very I go I whisper yell I go Hor. that's the level yeah. that I said it at I wasn't so like horse look it's a whore no but you wanted us you went whore and then you wanted us to laugh and get a reaction and the thing is what you did was one time we didn't laugh it's not and that you said it again you go whore <laughs> you like a, yeah you were like whore and the thing is, Sean, it's not that serious. The th yeah. It's not that serious a situation. My thing is, though, the movies are not I sacred. Hate, I hate it's not people sacred. like you. I hate people it's like you. It's not church. I hate people. If you would have done it in our apartment, that's different because I can pause. You can rewind. There were other people in the movie theater that paid their hard earned dollar to watch this movie, and they don't need to hear your fucking stupid thoughts. Your fucking dumb takes because you don't killing. like the movie. I was killing. No, no, you weren't. The reason you were killing and the you reason guys were going me and David laughed <laughs> was we we're like, oh my god, how embarrassing is is it that we brought this guy into the public? I yeah. hate. I genuinely hate when people do that because I've had movies ruined where there's kids behind us commenting every fucking ten minutes. That's not what I was doing. Yeah, though. you were though, bro. You were, don't you were tell to... me that you haven't been to a movie and made two or you three comments. You were bombing. You were bombing, and that's why you stopped <laughs> after a while. After the third one, you were bombing, and you weren't getting the reaction you wanted. Yeah, because you guys were trying to control yourselves. Because we gave you the light, and we said, Sean, <laughs> we're about to cut the mic. At what point did you get up and 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 about leave halfway the other through the role? movie? You know what was crazy? About he got up. The movie. He got up to move to the row behind us. Not even when I was like making a comment. When you I was just out loud. But I was. I <laughs> can I not react to the no, movie? No. I I wasn't even like. Ah! I literally was watching the film and something made me laugh, and that's wrong to you because yes. it was a Tony. Let yes. that movie spoke to me in a way that you don't understand, <laughs> Tony. When that woman was on that fence, it spoke to me in a, such a funny way, and for you to invalidate, invalidate my. I was being liberated by that scene, and it was just so funny, and for you to not. Respect that. It's just disgusting. It, it does. It does. Dude, that's what you sound it like. It does freak me out. <laughs> it does freak me out that when you see a woman in pain, your first reaction is to laugh out loud. It's not any just any woman. It's it's a <laughs> rich it's a whore. It's a rich it's a, it's a rich L.A. whore with a sun a sun hat flower hat. <laughs> that's funny. We're not. We're talking about a privileged person going through my minute pro not my new problems. She it's a big problem. She had mental. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you can't have problems. <laughs> but it's funny when <laughs> the way you bitch look, about you looked up and did it. It's <laughs> funny it was like, when it was like he was the government arrested yeah. him, and they say it was like when John Cena said something about Taiwan and oh, he yeah. had to give that. Speech. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. You did that. How? 
I think rich people also have problems. No, I believe that. Uh, you make me laugh. I'm. We'll shake on it. <laughs> that was I'm, fun. I mean, I'm not going to change who I am. I, that's and fine. And you shouldn't and, either. And I'm never taking you to a movie theater. <laughs> but, like, I'm glad we, we figured Take it out. Take him to Austin Film Society and see what a... Uh, oh, dude, he... I would fit in. You know I'd fit in. No, you'd get shot. Eyes Wide Shut is uh, going to be playing there during Christmas. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's a weird Christmas. Hey, gang. Hey, family. You want to go see Apparently, it's a Christmas movie. That's Eyes Wide Shut. Hey, gang. Hey, hey, little Timmy. You, you know, this is a Christmas a, movie. You want to go see a billionaire orgy together? <laughs> Boy in Striped Pajamas is another Christmas movie. <laughs> it's a Hanukkah movie. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Nick Fuentes. Who's that? You don't know Nick. Do you know Nick Fuentes? Mm-mm. Ooh, baby. Who's Nick Fuentes? Okay, so can you look him up real quick, John? He's a uh, neo-Nazi. <laughs> yeah, no, he was so he he's a um, Nicholas J. Fuentes. Yeah. Uh, so basically, if you've been following, I've been following Kanye a lot. I think this is hilarious. Kanye went to dinner with Trump. Uh huh. Um, and Nick Fuentes. He brought Nick Fuentes. Uh, who is uh, has his own show? Holy shit! Holy shit! A former leader of the neo-Nazi organization. He's like openly anti-Semitic. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he'll like go and like I, I watched a little bit of his show. Um, I'm actually a huge fan now. <laughs> uh, no, I, I watched a little bit of his show, and it's like, yeah. He... I think I think I get why you didn't like the Fablemans. <laughs> <laughs> you saw. <laughs> <laughs> on screen he saw a Jewish family succeeding and he just went bullshit he's a cop she's a whore that's not real racism <laughs> oh that's racism oh, that is actually a little anti-semitic I, th- I throw a bagel at a Jewish guy <laughs> and I'm racist now. no I genuinely think we found the core alright continue no, about but, Nick Fuentes um, how, is he, how is he a Nazi his last name's Fuentes well, that's what people in? exactly. It's no, like, it's like, also uh, because a lot of uh, Nazis moved to South America oh, after Argentina the war. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's oh, Mexican really? descent. Hilarious. He's from Illinois, but um, <laughs> what? Mexican descent. So I mean, no, but uh, so uh, anyway, they, Kanye West and Nick Fuentes have been hanging out a lot. Oh, that's not good. And like that's like. Up to, like, you know how a lot of people are like, damn, like, everyone has their point with Kanye where you're like, damn, like, Kanye, I had, I, like, I can't I do it anymore. I was giving you the benefit of, I, like, yeah. I was like, with you, bro, like, I was like, ah, I think I find, like, this is it for me. Yeah. This is it, like, oh. I, like, Kanye hanging out with it, like, Nick Fuentes is like, nah, like, he said, like, you know, that Jews run the media, you know, Honestly, and he said that, like, dude, you know what he said? Huh. He said um, that, you know, I mean, you know, whatever. He said he's, this is a Christian, he said the United States is a Christian nation. And he said that Jewish people should not be anywhere near the levers of power. Jesus. That's uh, verbatim what he said. Can I just say this to all those, the Catholics that say, oh, the Jews run the media? Hey, if they do run the media, good, <laughs> let them. Because I've seen Catholic movies. They suck. <laughs> God's Not Dead 1 and 2, terrible movies. If the Jews run the media, look what they gave us. Jurassic Park. The Fableman. Star Wars. <laughs> Breaking Bad. Yeah. Mad Men. They've given really? us- Who did Mad Men? I'm just saying, if Jews control the media and dictate what comes in and out, yeah. they're doing a pretty good job. Yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> they're giving us everything. Fucking dumb Adam Sandler comedies. Transformers. They're giving us biopics. They're giving us. I'm just saying. I've seen Catholic-made movies. They all suck. Yeah. So if the Jews run the media, they've been killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No, there's some good. I mean, it's no, a weird statement I, to make it's because a weird, it is. If the Jews really run the media, then that means every single piece of media is Jewish, Jewish media. But that, that doesn't make any sense because Nazis aren't Christian. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, they are. They're usually or they're there's a like Christian, Christian, not, Christian. Catholic. I thought they burnt the Bibles during, or they're definitely they're not Catholic. Oh right, they're not Catholic. Yeah, they're yeah. Christ, ca- Christian. They're, yeah, they're cri- more Christian. But I think yeah. Nick Fuentes is Catholic. Doesn't say he's Mexican good. Catholic. That's what I'm like. So it's is like, it being ironic? Like he's just saying, yeah, I'm all these things. No, no. Like he, like he I really mean, he's it. not like a like you know how Milo Milo uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, right? Yeah. Like he's 
he kind of straddles the line between comedian and and uh, controversial. No, I mean, what, you know, more yeah. so than Nick. Yeah. Nick is straight. Nick is not like trying to be funny. Well, yeah. Whereas Milo is like, oh, like hides kind of behind, like, oh, I'm just fu- joking. You know, after he says a bunch of shit, he'll be like, oh, I'm just joking. So anyway, why, why have him and Kanye been hanging out? Uh, well, I think I mean that's a good question. And they all went to dinner with Trump. Trump invited Kanye to dinner, uh, and then uh, Trump and Kanye was like, "Can I bring some friends?" And Trump goes, "Yeah." And then Trump and Kanye brings Nick Fuentes. <laughs> but I think they've been hanging out because Kanye's been. What did Trump well, say when he saw Nick Fuentes? I don't that's know. Bad. What? If- but he didn't. Apparently, Tr- Trump. Oh, Trump said afterwards that he didn't know who Nick was. Oh, which I believe. Yeah. Um. But no, I think Kanye's been hanging out with Nick because I think Kanye genuinely is just anti-Semitic, which what? is news to me. What? <laughs> huh? Like I, and but you like just, you just found that out. I mean, you know, I, I I'm not gonna lie. I was like, listen, I wanted to hear his side, his side up till now. You're gonna be the guy, but now your, I'm, your girlfriend or wife or whatever is gonna be pregnant. She's going to give birth to the child. The kid's going to be three years old. And, and one day you're going to look at your kid and like have a flashback of you guys having sex, the belly keep growing, you being there at the birth. You're going to be holding your three-year-old and going like, I think I'm a dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is my child. child. Yeah. And I'll be like, babe, like come in here. like This is my boy. It's crazy. My boy. So is Kanye just fucking up everything? Because apparently, you know how people were like, oh, fucking, they, they locked his accounts. This is unfair, you know. The, oh, yeah. The go- what if the government does that to anybody if they have that power? Turns out he owes the IRS $50 million. Oh, really? Yeah. He has tax issues? Yeah. Wow. So that's why Dude, they locked. They Kanye locked, should have called me. That's why they locked one him. of his accounts for $70 million because he owes the IRS 50 Yeah. And so <laughs> when it comes to that, I'm just like. Yeah. He's not really poor either. Like, he's not actually poor. Okay, I, so I'm reading on here on, under the white supremacy part. So it's saying, he says, he goes, I'm not a, uh, a racist, or, but saying that there's not, he's saying, the reason they called him that is because he said there was a white genocide. And so, but he also believes that uh, the United States should be Christian and it's uh, predominantly white culture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it says Fuentes. Okay, Fuentes wants the United States to be a white Christian country, and has specified that it's not a it is not a Judeo Christian country. Um, let's hear his views on women next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. uh, in the documentary in twenty twenty two, Fuentes told Louis Thoreau he believes that it wouldn't it would be better if women did not have the right to vote. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you're uh, not in a normal guy when Louis Thoreau interviews you. If you're getting interviewed by Louis Thoreau, you're not. Doing you're well. not like. <laughs> but, uh, he has attempted to defend himself as an insult by claiming that having sex with women is gay, and that the only really straight heteros position is to be asexual in self. So is that that's no, actually a think, funny I, joke? That is, is that funny. a funny? Also, I just think it's tough to probably get pussy if you're a white supremacist. Because <laughs> yeah. if you look, uh, most, a lot of dudes. It's, it's a lot a of bro. It's, it's a, a big sausage bros. fest. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you can go to like a a hot club with like fun young, you know, fun what? young women. What the fuck is happening? You have a Mexican Catholic Nazi <laughs> and a black rapper who's anti-Semitic. It does none of none of it fucking That's makes called any diversity. sense anymore. Yeah. I think it's great. The, the Nazi party is diversifying. Oh fuck. That is kind of funny. The Nazi sense. party looks like a, a Hulu TV original. <laughs> <laughs> like the Nazi party's like, all right, we got a, we yeah, got a black lo- guy, we got a Mexican. Uh, uh, we need a couple of Asians. Like Los Los Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I can't wait. Oh, this is the stupidest shit. How crazy! Yeah. T- how crazy! If the Nazi pi- party, they vote in like a leader, and it's like just a rabbi. It's just like you know. <laughs> oh, it comes full circle. It just becomes full circle. That they like logic their way into like <laughs> into being into like Mary being Aqua- actually equal? <laughs> like equal for everyone except Jews and also the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Look, because like, dude, you gotta What's AF America. That's first. his. That's his. Uh, oh. Also, he stole his whole media brand. He stole from uh, Trump, who also stole it. 
America first is, you know. Account suspended. He's suspended on Twitter. I don't know, man. So I don't know why I brought this. But the point is, it's like. Kanye is you know, fucking up. Yeah, but that's, I mean, we're taught. Uh, still, the still. this is still true. We're ta- I, I brought it up, but we're still talking about him. Yeah. And ultimately, I think that it's about, it's always, you, it always comes back to money. Even racial hatred, I think, in the media, like, it's like to, to race so. bait. Think... No, I'm not saying his opinions aren't, aren't it's, it's fucked up opinions that he has, but I, just, I don't know, man. I think a lot of people, yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of these guys are capitalizing on... A lot of racist people coming back to the forefront, bro. Dude, did you have see you that seen guy that? Did you see that guy who like Heil Hitlered at the airport in Seattle? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, or Chicago? Or no, no it was Seattle. in Seattle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, did see you that. see that video? No. A guy got arrested. He was like Heil Hitler. Oh, he you're was not, not, Yeah, you're not letting me on this plane because I'm a Nazi. It was like crazy. Yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, he, people and dude. I mean, even on the fucking internet, bro. Like people, like you know. I've seen these the comments on these videos. W take people are like L, dude. I hate that. I hate the whole like internet lingo these days where they're like W take L take. It's like have have some fucking nuance. What's L take? What's L take? Loss. W oh. is win. Loss. Yeah. L take. But but so like dude, people or like they'll go and like like Andrew Tate will be like you know like well, I I like women are like an inferior gender and people are like W take. It's like dude. Okay, fuck you. But that's all we live. That's the society we live in now. Is people just want want to follow one or two people that have all their opinions, so they, you know, they'll just tell them the news with their like opinion like sprinkled over it, and then they can be like, yeah. I'm right about the country. I'm I'm right. Everybody just yeah. wants to be right. And I, I hope that we can be peeps, people that are those people for some people. Just like you someday. when it comes to cinema. You just want to be right. <laughs> but you're very... You lack... Cinema. Okay, here's here's a neo-Nazi... This was Sieg basically Heiling Sean the Seattle at the Airport. Fableman. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm kidding. That guy is... Me. I love honestly though. Hey, I don't know if it's good or my good. rights. You know who wouldn't uh, give you the right to free speech in fascist Germany? Hitler yeah. wouldn't allow you to say shit that's controversial like that if it was against his regime. I mean, if you just yell in an airport like a crazy person, you also get arrested. Yeah, he's also just crazy. I also think, I love how everybody else is just very calm. They're just like, he's definitely not getting on the plane. Let's just get on the plane, get our Diet Coke, and let's just Look, fucking... I, my take on this video is I feel like, you know, people need to give Hunter Biden a break, and he's been going through a lot. There's him getting arrested. Oh, that's bad. How do you think? Do you think Nazis get sad when they get handcuffed? Because they're like they're just yelling "See Kyle," but they're like, "I can't do the hand thing." <laughs> I, I bet they're like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> that is upsetting, dude. Shit like that is troubling. Yeah, I mean, he's a self-employed writer and author. <laughs> well, he went to taking all- care of business. He went to two high schools. What do you think happened at the first high school? Probably that go, made him go to the second. He probably one. didn't make the football team, and he goes, "See, Kyle." He goes, <laughs> everyone, everybody goes against on, me. Starts going on 4chan. Wait a minute, I didn't make women. The Jews stopped me from being QB because he was yelling. He was like, "You're not letting me on this plane because I'm a Nazi." And I was like, "No, probably because you're yelling like a crazy person." Yeah. And also, being a Nazi isn't helping your case. Yeah, he's probably the guy that like loses at a game of like sorry mm-hmm. on like board game night. Kids meet him and they're like, oh, he seems a little odd, but it seems like a nice guy. They invite him to board game night. He loses. The only reason I lose is because I'm a Nazi. <laughs> See, God. Like, it's like, he's that kid that wait, th- wait, throws wait the pieces second, at your what? face. Wait, you're a Nazi? <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason I didn't get another turn and I lost. And they're like, I, oh, um, can you just like get out of here? <laughs> you know, it'd be funny. Like, he's. Like a like a theater kid, 
like go you know how like there's that scene where like you like audition and you go check if you made it yeah. on the wall like you like <laughs> miss the like you don't make it like it's the fucking jews <laughs> <laughs> like hey what part did you get i didn't make it <laughs> <laughs> no it is it's it's not good it's weird it's Kanye. Kanye and all that shit is just getting stranger and stranger. I've th- been releasing those videos on Twitter, those like little fucking one minute videos, where he's like, "It's we're gonna prove, we're gonna prove what really happened." They're coming after me because I'm having good thoughts, and it's like, no, Kanye. I think because he's running for president again. Yay, 2024. Yeah. Do you think he'll win? <laughs> no, I don't. I mean. <sighs> It's a he's because he's pull he's pulling from the Trump playbook. Why Trump when he announces presidency he he Bill t- Gates said it's going to be a hung election. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, I mean he's gonna he's gonna hang it. <laughs> What's a hung election? What's a hung Just, election, Sean? Uh, oh, when it's too close to call the race, like it's too like the. Oh, or no, I guess in the, like, federally, that would just mean that the same amount of electoral college votes are on both sides. Oh, shit. In which case, what happens if there's electoral, if it's a tie in the electoral college? I'll find out right now. I think it's, they, uh, they isn't to, it, do they go to the vice, they go no. to the vice president? They, no. they headline the UFC pay-per-view <laughs> event. <laughs> no, you have to go on the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. And no, then Joe decides. Yeah, and then you go on UFC, like, 224. <laughs> you have to fight each other. In this corner... <laughs> Um, it's saying they're still investigating if he said it or not. Apparently, did Bill Gates say hung election and civil war are coming? So the, his whole thing is that, and uh, Snopes says they're still researching it. I don't see is there a video of him saying it or an interview. Ooh, but that, anyway, that's what that's what that's what I was. Li- but dude, you know what? I, I you know okay, Bill Bill Gates says political polarization may bring it all to an end. The thing is, what what is the cause of the what is the cause of the political polarization? It's the inequality. It's the people that are fucking suffering. Yeah. It's like, and that's the same with anti-Semitism. See- it's like all these, like all the hatred bubbling up right now. Yeah. It, I think it's because people are mad because you can't go to Wendy's on a Wednesday, or you have to go like you can only go to Wen- Wendy's once a week, and you want I want to I want to be able to go to Wendy's twice a week, or like I want to get my leg fixed. Yeah. Like my leg is shattered, and I can't oh, go to the hospital. This is what he said. This is at Forbes 400 summit. May bring it all Should to we read the end. quote? I admit that political polarization may bring it all to an end. We're uh, we're going to have a hung <laughs> election and a civil war, he recently said in the keynote conversation. I don't like that. I don't like Bill Gates have, saying civil but then war. He says, but then he says this. I have no expertise in that. I'm not going to divert my money uh, to that because I wouldn't know how to spend it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep buying all the farmland <laughs> yeah. in America. Dude, I love how he goes, there's going to be a civil war. But, you know, as far as my investing portfolio goes. <laughs> uh... But you're seeing, dude, you're seeing a revolution in China right now. Have you seen yeah. the protests yeah. outside of the Apple factories? Yeah, those are crazy. Dude. It's good. They're throwing uh, like metal barriers at the police. Did you see the, how they broke out? Because they, they like... What was it? They locked them in. They like basically like barricaded mm-hmm. the doors, and then they, poof, dude, they broke out. It looked like a zombie movie, yeah. you know, like in The Walking Dead when it's just like people are just piling, and then the fucking yeah. hinges on the doors just fall, and they ran out. Man, it's dude. I, I think a lot of these governments are. I I don't. I think the people are finally like rising up against. Yep. Yeah, I mean it's. And you you look at China, their conditions are like we we think our conditions are bad. China, it's fucking crazy. They and were basically slaves, dude. I mean, you know, I was, and you know, what's what's crazy about the, uh, I love how like the coat, like you know, now it's like a popular take to be like. Oh, here's a video. That's crazy. Of uh, a big. Uh, now a iPhones. Big, now, iPhone, cock. now iPhones are gonna get more expensive. <laughs> That you know what's crazy? People have been talking about that, saying like, "Oh, Apple stock went down two point five percent." That's a lot, you know. And it's like that's what you're concentrating on right now, like yeah. the oh, we might not get the new Apple fifteen or whatever the fuck. Oh, dude, I, I, you know, I, I had a friend growing up that was yeah, like, but Josh, this is Tiananmen Square is, throughout the whole country. I yeah. am, I am kind of blessed that they're that they're protesting now. Right after the release of the new iPhone, <laughs> I'm glad that they released it first. Everybody could buy it at good price, and now they're protesting because it would have been selfish 
if they would have done I, it before. I agree. I agree. It's like, hey, how about you protest on our time? I, I'm glad you know Tim Cook was like like messaged like the uh, the workers in uh, at uh, fucking what's the fucking company called Fox Apple. Fox Colin. Yeah, yeah. He, he's like, hey, like, can you guys, you know, just let, let's let this phone come out, then you can then you can have your protests. Yeah, Isn't that cool. Is that all right? <laughs> Because is the media really talking about? No. Nope. No? Mm-mm. That's what I'm saying. How how I first saw it is that it said Apple went down 2.5% because of protests. And so I looked into it. And I was like, yo, why are you not talking? It, this is the whole country is going nuts right now. Yeah. Also, Dude. Also, it's like that whole thing of like, you know, those people that say like, oh, fucking, we might have to go to war with China, da, da, da. This is actually a good thing. Yeah. This, this will stop a war because... This is people going. So it'll still be a war. It'll be a civil war. No, but what I'm saying is this is going to stop a war between U.S. and China because I think both U.S. citizens and Chinese citizens are going like, we're not going to fight your fucking dumbass war. You guys could just shut the fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but you cut off people's money, which yeah, is what China true. can do very easily because if you have your phone out there, they're, they know who is out there. They can track your position. It's they insane. Can sh- they can it's... shut off your money like that. They can you know do it I mean? here too. They're, though. They're, that's what they well they 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 booted out Kanye, so they're already trying Fedcoin, and in uh, Japan they're also trying that CBDC as well. So yeah. they're running experiments on it right now. I mean, to see if it work in these in in countries that aren't China. You know, on the one hand, are the global governments destabilizing? Yes. Was Wakanda Forever a good movie? <laughs> <laughs> It it was a good movie, and that's and I think we need to look at the positives. It is crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I think I dude. It's which. Do you think you would ever like protest? Or would no, you, I would be protesting. You seem like you'd be the factory worker where everybody protests. <laughs> the peasants. And Sean, Sean would go. Oh, this is my chance. Where the whole factory would be empty, and one of like the managers walks by and goes, "Sean, is that you?" And you're just like. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he goes, "What are you doing here? All your coworkers are outside throwing like rocks at the cops, and they're you know fighting for like equal pay." Oh no, I would rights. never hurt the police. No, no, no. He goes, he shouts literally. He's all fighting a horse. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's up there. He's up there fucking shitting in a bucket. Yeah. And he goes, "No, no, no. I love my bucket toilet." <laughs> he goes, uh, he goes. Question, sir. Uh, because my other coworkers aren't here. May I have their loaves of bread? So instead of one loaf of bread, may I have four loaves? No, Sean, that, that would be unfair. That would be against the policy. You're right, sir. Sorry for asking such a dumbass question. I'll get back to making the new iPhone 15 SX. Good, Sean. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I mean, Please look away. I have to dump one more time in my toilet bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you would stay. Oh, decide. I would totally be a scab. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but in this <laughs> country? <laughs> not. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean... Yeah, if I was in China, I would definitely be a scab. Yeah, but then I'd be, a, I'd probably be killed for being a scab. Would you? Yeah, a lot of people that are scabs end up being harassed. <laughs> you took their job, yeah, yeah, bro. I mean, dude, and the thing is, it's actually like, I mean, you know, I don't know. I, well, I've I've pulled back on libertarianism, by the way. Well, Sean back you? on it a little bit. What what made you pull back on it? Well, uh, so this is a book I'm reading. <laughs> I, was telling, I was telling Tony this. Turns out, at the end of this book. It's written by Nick Fuentes. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't realize, I don't really look at the names of the author. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, at the end of the book, they do talk about like how bad abortion is. And I'm like, well, you just talked about how like the law is, a, the law is subjective and the law is written by the wealthy. And then you're talking about this moral code that you need to follow if you're in this society, which has always been the tr- critique of... Uh, even I, joined, repu- even, I joined, even I joined Republican. a libertarian group uh, freshman year of college. Uh-huh. They, they s- snuck me in. At Texas State? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was were... it Nick Aluto? I think so, maybe. Yeah, he tried to start one there at Texas State, he, and he had another one for comics as well. Yeah. And he put me in there, and I'm like, why are you, why stand, are you putting me like in there? A stand-up, no, stand-up like, comedy joined... yeah. group and a libertarian a club? stand-up comedy libertarian group. And I was yeah. like, <laughs> why am I, why'd you invite <laughs> me to this? <laughs> no, but like, I, I joined... Y'all have a be out in the government... <laughs> <laughs> it's <went>. too big. <laughs> <laughs> I went. Because at first it's like, ah, oh, this society, they're pushing us down. Why should college cost this much? And yeah. You're like, yeah. It's <laughs> fucking, yeah, this is, yeah. And then you go, and it's just nut jobs. He goes, 
I should be able to drive drunk if I want to. Yeah. And you're just like, huh? No. <laughs> if I want to. I should get if, my own yeah. road. If someone disrespects me and my wife at a, at a fucking Kmart, I should be able to shoot them right then and there. And you're just like, no. I mean, they're not. I mean, the thing is, a lot. Yeah. And you're, like a lot of libertarian perspectives are like, I think, yeah, popular. Um, it's just that run that party is run by nut jobs. But it's it's a uh, but it's also depending on everybody being self sufficient, which is not. It's the same thing. Being like, man, wouldn't a a, a socialist uh, society be great? Yeah, if we were all trying to help each other. Yeah. wouldn't libertarian be great? Yeah, if we're all self sufficient, but we're not. Yeah, uh, I've recently recently said on stage where I go, America does have socialized health care, but we call it GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah, you know. Because it's like we wanna, we wanna help people, but we wanna know them and like have that decision on whether they get to live or die. Because <laughs> it gives us power. Jeez, it does. You see a, you've seen a GoFundMe where you click on it and then you just go, ah, nah, <laughs> and let them die, <laughs> and then you go to the next one. Yeah, we we like to have that little control on who lives or dies. Yeah, that's a little. It's a little bit of a. It's like a startup for your 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 kids sickness. with can, kids with cancers. Man, they're killing it. They're getting like fucking. We'll we'll fucking fund them. If you're a kid with Dude. cancer, we'll socialize. We'll socially like fund your your medical. Yeah, that's what Saint medical, Jude's. Medical but if you bill. get kidnapped, ain't nobody gonna fucking. But, look, even look, they're gonna exit off the yeah, phone. If you're a 32 year old male that works at Burger King. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should've, try again. Should have tried harder. Get a time machine, become a kid, get cancer, and we'll give <laughs> oh, you some money. Okay. How about you uh, lose some weight? <laughs> <laughs> the worst is uh, me and a buddy were talking about those GoFundMe's when it's like someone like uh, my my dog is sick, and it's like the fourth surgery that year. If those people, I just want to like, I just want to go. Hey, if you can't afford. Your dog's medical bills, give up the dog. Because, like me, I want a dog so bad. I want that connection with a dog, but I know I can't afford it. So I'm losing out on love. Yeah. You don't get to have love from an animal and like that, that, that bond with an animal and not be able to afford it. I'm not going to pay for you to have that fake that extra love that I wish I could have. No, I I would say the same same thing about like a grandma. Like if your grandma's sick, oh, I would no. say the same thing. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> you know, four surgeries in one year, it's like just put her down. Come on. <laughs> Let's get on with our lives. I've had She's those. 68. She's ready to go. Have you guys gotten movie ones? Well, oh, I've, I've like got movie project GoFundMe's? Yeah. Great news, guys. I finally got my script done. If you could just <laughs> I'm like, "What the fuck? Why would you send me this?" Yeah. <laughs> I get, I get that. Like, if it's someone like trying to fund a movie that's different, but like, you can't get mad if I don't donate. I, like, I had a buddy, dude. I love this guy a lot. I he might listen to the podcast. I think he does. Just Dan, I love you. But, you didn't have uh, to say his name. It's fine. Um, <laughs> he probably changed it. He bought a house across the country. Bought bought a house, and then he asked for a GoFundMe to travel to his new house huh like he has oh, like, like moving, moving costs. costs and i'm just like yeah i'm not i i'm like i live in an apartment a shitty apartment i'm not gonna fund your travel to your new property <laughs> that you own you know what i mean yeah, yeah. no if you're gonna buy a house make sure you can afford to get there worst case walk do what the pilgrims did go on the oregon trail <laughs> Fucking walk. The trail of tears. Yeah, trail of tears. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's everybody your, gets put one. Your, put yourself out there. Everybody gets one GoFundMe. I'm waiting to use mine. Yeah, you. That is true because you destroy all of your credibility with your your network. Yeah, you only get like one or two times where you can ask for money from people. You know. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah. I'm I'll, waiting. I'm what waiting. are you waiting for yours? Uh, I don't know. I get shot. <laughs> I get shot. That's a freebie. You, that, that's a mulligan. Yeah. If you get shot, oh, you get a free one. If you get one. shot, you get 50 grand. Tony, if you get that'd shot, that'd be a funny GoFundMe. Tony grand. got shot. <laughs> Depends where you got shot. <laughs> like in the leg. Uh, no, like I meant like the location. Like yeah, where, the leg. No, 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 no. Uh, not, uh, physically. Yeah. Like where you're at. I was in Chirac. That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. true. Get yeah, shot by a, like, 
if you get shot in Chirac, I'm like, well, what, what were you doing in Chirac? I was how I was teach I was I was in an open mic. I was teaching him about Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> if you get shot by a, a bitter comic, yeah, they'll a lot of people donate to you. Oh yeah, I think so. Let's call some up. That's how you'll make a, make your career. Yeah, you get on the Tonight Show. Would, I was recently shot by another comedian. I would hate that. Woo! Or, oh, or be shot that. on stage by by somebody who hated one of your jokes. That would be fun. You probably least half a million. Oh yeah, I would be like famous for two days. <laughs> You'd be on Rogan's oh, yeah, yeah. podcast and everything. I would hate it. All imagine, right. Imagine being that person. It's like, oh, how'd you get famous? I was assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are your jokes good? No, nope, <laughs> but I got shot at the funny bone. <laughs> That's my brand now. I get shot. I got shot. Where did they shoot you? Ironically, they shot my funny bones. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's your set. Yeah. You get shot it's again. my closing joke. <laughs> <laughs> stands up. <laughs> funny All right. bone. Enough funny stand-up bone. comedy talk. I hate stand-up comedy. <laughs> Get out of here. You come up with crutches, and then you just throw the crutches like, ah, I'm joking. Just joking. And then you take off your shirt. <laughs> Every show, I have a gun, and I have to shoot myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's that's enough stand-up. <laughs> that's enough stand-up comedy bits. <laughs> we're Sean's going to shoot we're you. A, we're a political. Oh, we, also, oh Josh, we want to call the University of Texas their campus to mm-hmm. see if uh, we can start a church of Satan. Yeah, because Sean doesn't believe religious religion should be on college campuses. Mm-hmm. But I try to tell him. Well, we were driving they, by. Is the so we're driving by yeah. on the way here? Huge traffic jam, by the way, because mm-hmm. they closed off a road. Horrible, horrible traffic jam. Um, and so I was in this church, and there's this church. I think it's on UT Austin's campus, right? Mm-hmm. And I look at it. And I'm like, is that a church funded by us, the taxpayers? It's a public university, is it not? Is it or is it private? It's a UT public, Austin's public, public, right? Yeah. So that means that I, part of my tax dollars are going to yeah. the church. Yeah, there's churches at Texas State. Yeah, but which is also that's, public. That's on yeah, and it's on campus. Yeah, so Sean, so that's have, wrong. They have, they have churches for every religion. And yeah. I was like, and Tony was like, there's churches for every religion. I'm like, not the Church of Satan. <laughs> no, there's not. And if I were to start can, one, can you look up organize how to start a club at UT? <laughs> I think you got to go there, don't you? Yeah, but we'll say we're students. Prank call. Let's see. I mean, this. Starting a new student organization. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to just have 10 members. We can get 10 Satanists. Uh, sorry, There's three need, right here. You need 10 members, a consultant, and $20. <laughs> It's not that hard. A constitution? The, consti- the constitution of the Church of Satan at UT Austin? <laughs> That's a fucking club. Um, but you get what I mean. Like, my point is... Oh, there's a phone number. Call 512-471-3065. My heart's racing. Call them. Should we do it? Yeah. All right. Give them a call. See what they say. You want to connect connect your Bluetooth? Yeah, let me connect my Bluetooth. I think they'll wow you. <laughs> Go ahead, it's on. Uh, to connect, it should say Roadcaster. All right, we're connecting. Sorry, technical difficulties, people. Uh, it's loading. Do you think Roadcaster Pro Two? Oh boy. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Tony? You're gonna you're gonna be involved, right? Just play it straight. Just play it straight. Uh, three, f- two, four, seven, I six, see it. six. Paired. Okay, we're paired. Play it straight. Be you know. Ask questions. Does the university have a Church of Satan? <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, almost on. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, ready? Here we go. Yeah. Student activities. Tia, help me help you. Yeah, uh, hi. I just had some questions about um, starting a club on campus. Okay, I can help you. Um, so do you, do you guys have, I was just looking at the different clubs. Do you guys have like religious uh, organizations like the, like different churches and stuff? Uh, 
we do, yes. Awesome. Um, and I was just wondering, like, because uh, I was driving, there's like a few different shirts, like, um, is I just want to make sure I don't start a club that already exists. Is there already like a, mm-hmm. is, is there one for like, is there like a, you guys already have like a Catholics club? Um, I can definitely go ahead and pull up some stuff. Let's see. Um, we do, yes. You do? Okay. Um, cause I, I just, it's a pretty, uh, I just wanted to, you know, call just to, to double check. Um, there's a, uh, a club. It's the, I want to start like a, a Satanist club. Would that be, you know, something that you guys would be open, open to? Um, yeah, you can definitely go ahead and submit an application for the spring, um, and going through the process. Um, if we notice anything that kind of wouldn't be allowed, um, we can definitely let you know. Um, but if you have like a, I can definitely also ask to see um, if you would like me to. Yeah, you know, I, I would appreciate because it's it is a pretty. I understand it's controversial and stuff, and I don't. I I wouldn't want to like, you know, we're it's a peaceful organization, right? Like we're not doing anything contra- Like, you know, it's just a belief system, just like any other belief system. I I just wanted to like kind of yeah. just call before I submit because I didn't want you know to alarm anyone, obviously. Yeah, um, that should be fine. Like you said, there are other beliefs-based um, organizations on campus. Um, but again, I can definitely ask just for further confirmation, but I don't think it would be a problem um, from what you're telling me. It would just depend on the things that you say in the application as well as in the Constitution. Yeah, like we're not about harm or anything. Oh, I'm sorry, my mom's calling. Um, sorry. I'll... <laughs> uh, so uh, as far as the fee, is is there a way to waive the waive the fee because i'm to be honest it's or how much is the fee um the application fee is twenty dollars okay oh so okay okay could you guys go down to like 10 there is unfortunately no way to kind of negotiate the price on that gosh okay i think i'll be able to come up with it um all right well thanks for thanks for the info um and i'll send in the app uh shortly awesome sounds good have a great day thank you so much (laughs) <laughs> my mom's calling <laughs> she was so nice i feel horrible <laughs> why she wow was, she was like yeah no so you, <laughs> it's not violent at all no no ma'am have we gone too far tony no that was great my mom's <laughs> what did she say because I, t- I had to take off my headphones what did she say she was just what like said, can we do ten dollars she goes there's no way to go to- <laughs> Yeah, we can negotiate. <laughs> you should call her back. You should call her back. And be like, this is the truth. <laughs> oh, I should have said, oh fuck. I should have said, Satan is we're a religion of peace. <laughs> I should have pressed that when you're doing it. We're this, religion. This is uh, wow. Give your first speech. Okay. I can't believe we did that. To be honest, Sean, give your do the voice Woo! in a second. Yeah. Give your first. I'm the school board. <laughs> So, hey, Sean, um, we got your application, and uh, we hear you want to apply for the Church of, uh, of Satanism. We're, we're just wondering, what is your constitution? Primarily, <laughs> it involves sacrificial ritual, free expression, drugs, <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having a good time. That's probably the main tenet of the Church of Satan. Uh, que- okay, okay, question. When you say sa- sacrif- sacrifice, uh, wh- what kind of sacrifice are we talking? And also, on the drugs, like, are we talking like legal drugs, like vitamins? Baby aspirins, or like, what kind of drugs are we talking? I mean, vitamins aren't drugs. <laughs> I don't know where you got that information, but we're talking about all types of drugs: ketamine, <laughs> caffeine, methamphetamine. It runs the runs the full spectrum of uh, psychoactive chemicals. 
Uh, legal and illegal. That's a big part of it. Um, we only follow one law, which is the, you know, from the book of Satanism, that the, our Bible is written by a man named Ansel LeVay, the founder of modern Satanism. So a lot of our, yeah, it's, <laughs> we meet on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. in uh, building 34B, room 609. 666, actually. So, when it comes to sacrifice, are you actually, like, hurting people, killing people, or is it more of a, is it more of a, like, symbol of sacrifice? Or is it, like, you know how in the Catholic Church we eat the body of Christ, but it's just bread, or are you actually hurting pe- people? Well... No harm will come to you if you stop asking questions. As far as sacrifice, I'm laughing because it's so fun to sacrifice (laughs) animals. They don't actually feel the pain uh, when we rip out their heart. It's actually Satan. Satan has a way of... Satan relieves the pain when we rip the heart out. It's part of his energy. Um, we also have a kombucha brand, if you're interested. <laughs> uh, we're doing like affiliate deals, you know, drop shit. We actually do a lot of drop shipping. It's also a big part of our part of what we're doing. Well, to be honest with you, Sean, um, I was very against your organization joining uh, this campus, but now I'm just, honestly, you've convinced me. I'm thrilled. It, it seems like. Drop sh- learning about drop sh- shipping can be very helpful for students. And um, yeah, if you're not bringing any pain while ripping out hearts, I don't I don't see any problem with that. And uh, yeah, and I'll stop asking questions because I felt that threat coming my way, and uh, I feel like you're a you're a go getter, you're a doer. So I do not want pain to come to me and my family. You're um welcome to the UT campus, Sean. Okay, you're off campus now. We have to take you. Yeah, we're like a frat. Uh, We're like Pike. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still getting over the phone call. Why? I feel horrible. Why do you feel bad? <sighs> it didn't it's it didn't seem like she was having a busy day. No. Like she seemed like <laughs> she answered in two or three. But we yeah. just interrupted someone's real day. Yeah, but you, know? you gave her a test. That's a real question she needs to know. What if there is a, a a student right now at UT and he's just sad? He's sad. He does he doesn't belong here. No one understands me. Like that's his music, you know. Uh-huh. And he's just like, "Oh man, I wish I knew other Satanists near me, horny Satanists near me." <laughs> you know? you I know? will say, I love how like I was like, I, I, as soon as I clarified that it was a religion of peace, yeah, she's like, "Send, send in the app." I love how the sticking point was the application fee. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, you could be Satanist on campus, <laughs> but you, oh, you can't waive the fee." I'm sorry. The fee is unwaivable. You oh, gave yeah, her yeah. a story for the rest of the week. She's like, this guy, this guy called guy. in, wanted to start a group with Satan. I, it's one, you know, uh, and we, I love comedy. I think, I think this week we apply. <laughs> I think we apply for next week and see if we get in. I mean, you know, ah, no, nah, what's that? I'm down, I mean, why not? Well, you know, I don't want to put anything on paper because it's fraudulent. Is it? Yeah, we're not students. Is they could, we are Satanists, but not students. <laughs> I, also, I love how she didn't ask for my ID or like what. Like she could have easily known that I was not a student. People are so stupid. <laughs> oh. Or no, they're not. St- no, they're not stupid. They're uh, trustworthy. Yeah. I feel so bad for this stupid naive girl. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking dumbass. No, I would have been like this dumbass sti- idiot. If I was, was in that job, that was open to listening to my beliefs on Satanism. This fucking fool. She I would have been nice. like, we're a Christian school. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> hey, call call TCU and see you though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
let's do that real quick. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't know if I have the energy to do two. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm actually shaking with adrenaline right now. Why? Because just other people. That was a real person. You were good it's, at it. I know I was good at it. That's what scares me. <laughs> it's because I was scared, and then I got into the conversation, and I became ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't like, I, I just, I don't want to do that to people. What made it real was, oh, it's my mom. My mom's calling me right now. <laughs> I love, dude, that was, and she really called. Yeah. That was crazy. That was so fun. I was like, I yeah, we, anyway, I we're, we, we're, Satanism is a religion of feet. Oh, this is my mom. <laughs> yeah. I said we apply real quick. I said we apply. We won't use our name. And we'll see if we get in. What do you want to use? Fake? You have to have a president and a vice president and a yeah. constitution. And 10 people. Biel's a boss. Beals a bob. Oh, Beals a boss. Yeah, That's Beals funny. a boss. He's our uh, president. You're also uh, gonna waste twenty bucks. Yeah, but it's funny for the bit if we get accepted to start an organization at UT for the. I'll, I'll reapply to University of Texas. I'll go back. I'll get a master's so, to run the church to say. Um. So uh, I'm an MBA student right now. <laughs> the, the, the UT, at UT Austin. What a waste um, of money. Go back to college for a master's <laughs> just to run the church and say. Dude, well, when you become a club, you get, usually get a f uh, little fee or like a little budget every Ooh. year. So well, you could do events. What do you guys want to use the budget for? We need goats. Hmm. We need goats. We need saws. Um, we do need you have any adrenochrome? Adrenochrome. Yeah. Do you have. No. You know what's. It's actually pretty interesting. They don't have a Church of Satan on campus. Is it? Well, it's I don't. I, I feel like Satanists are kind of against the the norms. So yeah, they're probably not going to college. Well, I mean, I was a Satanist for a while <laughs> in were eighth you? in eighth grade. I was a Satanist <laughs> for three months. You were a Satanist in eighth grade. Yeah, I was a Satanist <laughs> for three months in eighth grade. How did well, this, I was an athe wait, I was an this, atheistic Satanist. How did this happen? Uh, well, I renounced God. And, <laughs> and, um, Who did you sell your soul? I, uh, I, well, what happened is I was watching. No, Sean sold his soul for a, a subway, a bet. <laughs> David Senefani <laughs> yeah. owned Sean's soul. Yeah. Oh, shit. I actually a bet game we, of pool, a, a game of pool. If I won, he got a subway a foot long sandwich, subway a foot, sandwich. A foot long subway sandwich. No, no drink, no chips. Uh -huh. That just, would have to just, come out of his pocket. Just the sandwich. But if he lost, David would own his soul. And he was so bad at pool. He there was no chance of him winning, winning, and he loses. So David owns the soul. I actually lost my soul that day. What does David do with your soul? He has it. He has it. He says just in case like the apocalypse or something happens, he can cash it in. Cash Sean's soul. Mm. To get. And I'll immediately the hands will grab me, drag, drag me down. <laughs> no, you know how I became a Satanist is in eighth grade. I was walking home from school, right, and then. Out of this alleyway, an old man in a robe really? with a little clock was swinging his <laughs> clock back and forth. And he pulled out of his robe this like crystal that was like glowing. Yeah. And he was like, Hello, Sean. I've been waiting for you. And um, I was like, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I was researching on the internet and I became a Satanist because it's, it's actually a religion. It is a religion of peace. Yeah. It is most. What made Some you get? Why did you get out of it then? It's not a religion of peace. <laughs> 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 no, it's um, what's it called? Uh, there's, I mean, in a in a lot of ways, I still have believe a lot of the tenets of Satanism are pretty reasonable. Things like, uh, you you own your body, respect nature, do it's, without wilt is their big one. Do without wilt. Do without wilt. Do what you want to do. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, but then I think right where, but but obviously that the limit of that is like you can't harm other people and stuff. It's a lot of the tenets of Satanism, like the institution of can modern. Look, can we look up the tenets of modern Satanism? They're, yeah, let's look it up because they're. I mean, it has to be in our constitution. If we're going to start a club, we got to do the constitution. Has to have this stuff. There are seven fundamental tenets. Oh, I hate that I'm looking this up in my. The Satanic Temple. Uh, let's wait. Should we get on their email list? <laughs> hey, don't give your cookies to the Satanic Temple. <laughs> they have enough cookies. Okay, read them out. The, there are seven fundamental tenets of Satanism. Number one, <laughs> one should strive to act with compassion and empathy toward all creatures in accordance with reason. What do you think of that? That's pretty reasonable. That's pretty reasonable. Number two. So they're basically saying like. Hey, don't harm anybody else, except if they steal the last Oreo cookie. Then and everything die. <laughs> and it's all fair game. Um, number two, the struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit 
that should prevail over laws and institutions. I don't know about that one. <laughs> the struggle for justice? Actually, I mean, I do agree with this. The, the, the struggle for justice... Oh, well, no. Basically, they're saying justice is not... Justice is not rooted in law. Justice is a philosophical, moral, human... Is yeah. rooted in humanity. Yeah. But the thing is, we have... I don't... I mean... Not every human agrees on what is just. So what number two kind of sounds like, uh, what's it called? Mob, like, you know, mob mentality. Mob mentality. <coughs> like the court of the people, like the people, you know, like if, like it sounds like, and I'm, I'm going to be really controversial. This is a crazy episode. <laughs> I'm going to say something crazy. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Like, they, <coughs> it sounds like, you know, if you rape someone, they sh- you should just deserve to die, which is a popular belief. Or like, I was actually going to bring this up earlier. I'm also a Satanist. I'm a pedophile Satanist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but or people anyway. Um, I get what you're saying. You know, I... like oh, like no, let's like if if you commit rape, you deserve to go to jail for the rest of your life. Do uh, it? Do, 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 do you deserve to be executed? I don't think you deserve to be killed. That's crazy. It's, it's crazy, dude. And people are gonna pe- or like people are like. Anyway, number three. One's body is inviolable, subject to one's will alone. Okay. I like that. I like that. Four, the freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend. Uh Uh-oh, I'm becoming a Satanist again. (laughs) To willfully and unjustly encroach upon the freedoms of others, of another, is to forgo one's own. That's a lot. That's reasonable. Five, Beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific fact to fit one's beliefs. Wow. Six. People are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify it and resolve any harm that might have been caused. That's actually sweet. Number seven. Andrew Tate is our Lord and Savior. (laughs) He he has returned to to deliver us from evil. I like that's probably where I, I lose him. It's not bad. So, uh, anyway, I would become a Satanist. But the thing is, like, you get into it, and but then above that, you get a skull <laughs> above all those nice no, things. No, I think it's just I think with Satanism, it's almost like the the modern s- Satanism is kind of like a parody. It's secular. Yeah, it's, it's not a, it's, even. It's a parody. It's like, hey, we're Satanists. Where it, it's always had this evil connotation. They're like it. leftists now. Yeah. Where it's it's almost like, hey, we love har- we love hardcore metal, but we also love each other. It's like it's like radical free expression, which you know. But like, why would you gather? Oh, they they're hiring nurses <laughs> and midwives. Oh, would you have a what's a, a nurse midwife? A the, mid- the midwife is the one that helps them give birth. Oh shit. Would you have a satanic midwife? Oh yeah, yeah. you would be Honestly, birthing God, shouldn't you? the son of the devil. Shouldn't you be a a satanist because like you love goth girls? They are, that's where a lot like... of them. This is why they need. Oh, it. use it to get bitches. Oh, you want to read why? Oh shit! What? Where? Oh, the top here. Yeah. Uh, responsibilities: provide education to people completing an abortion ritual. Okay, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. No, Let's move on going. from this. Prescribe abortion medication to qualify. Let's collaborate. Uh, just with call a it team a ritual. Ab- Why did you call? It, just call it an abortion. <laughs> Don't call it an abortion ritual. Collaborate with a team of abortion care advocates to provide high quality medication abortion care. Like it's all good until they say ritual. <laughs> I know. Like you got bilingual. Like bilingual in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, Experience yeah. of telemedicine <laughs> and, Latin. <laughs> and Latin. Hey, this is the future liberals want. State license. This in is the future New Mexico. Want. That's the thing. Any t- if if they just wouldn't have said ritual, <laughs> I would have been like, yeah, I'm on board. But it's like, are you guys really selling dead baby souls? Like <laughs> <laughs> rights and bottle. <sighs> and bottle your I get. I get why Christians are scared of Satanists. Because Christians, their whole belief are, is that hell is real. Christians and Catholics, that hell yeah. is real. So when they say, they're killing the babies for the devil. 
These guys aren't helping yeah. that cause. Yeah. You're not helping by calling it a ritual, abortion ritual. You know, it's like, have you? Yeah. Anyway, I agree. I mean, it's oh, the satanic, the satanic temple versus Texas. Really? Where? Go exit out of that. Versus Texas one. Go to the right. Oh, oh it's oh. Whoa. The scouts' decision to overturn. SCOTUS. Oh, sorry. The SCOTUS decision to overturn Roe v. Wade will ha- will have devastating consequences, which are already being felt. Despite the setback, the Satanic Temple <laughs> is not. <laughs> <defeated>. <laughs> we have legitimate what? religious liberty claims that we will continue to to aggressively assert you're, you're n- <laughs> to energize our members, or to energize our members and supporters, further instill a sense of. Hope and explain our legal processes to our uh, to our readers each day this week. We are providing an overview of the efforts. So the thing can I, is, can I read the first effort real quick? Yeah. Effort number one: sacrifice eight human souls <laughs> <laughs> to Payman, God King of the of the of of Hell, Prince of Knowledge. That's a good one. <laughs> Whoa. See, they <laughs> they sued. So the Church of uh. Satan. File the suit against the state of Texas on behalf of plaintiff Ann Doe, which I guess is a woman who maybe had an abortion, Yeah. when her religious right to participate in a ceremonial <laughs> abortion ritual was obstructed by state-mandated <laughs> abortion preconditions. See, the thing is, Sean. I'm a pro-life now. I'm pro-life. <laughs> the world I'm doesn't pro make sense. Life. The world don't make sense. You're killing babies. You're a fucking <laughs> pedophile, uh, green-haired baby killers. <laughs> And I will not let you win. This is a Christian nation. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a Christian nation. That's the thing. Is, I'm s- no, but they're not. They're, it's no, a bad argument. That's <laughs> the thing is you're on board when they're like uh, uh, abortion. Like these abortion laws will have like bad, uh, bad consequences. You're like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And they're like, <laughs> they're, they're like, we should be able to kill. A mother's <laughs> child in a, rit- in, a, in a ritual and a ceremony. A ceremony where we, where we drink the dead baby's blood. <laughs> this, is, this, is the, this is how oh. they equate it. says, to a mandated waiting period before allowing a Catholic to receive communion. So the uh, ritual, abortion ritual is the same as a Catholic taking communion is what they're saying. That there should be a waiting period. Well, one of them's eating bread, and one of them, <laughs> one of them is in a, one of them is, is an abortion. <laughs> Who they need wi- midwives for? Yeah. I love how they're like Ro- Roe v. Wade was overturned, and this is a setback. But Satan will not be defeated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you fucking talking? <laughs> <laughs> you're like literally you're, you're proving this their is, point <laughs> this is the, this is why uh, this is what republicans think uh atheists and everyone are like like all yeah. pro 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 uh, choice people are like this uh with roe v wade go oh. to texas wait yeah go to the last one <laughs> that is wild uh with roe v wade overturned the satanic temple's next steps are to motion for a, a pre, uh pre preliminary injunction pre- a preliminary injunction and seek dis- discovery. Jesus. So I let's go back to the tenets real quick of Satanism. Yeah. Justice is above the law. Let's go to tenant number, uh, which one was it? Two. The struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over laws and institutions. So what does that so mean? What, they should still just do abortion. They, they're going to do the abortion ritual without uh, without regard to the law. Because that's what their justice is. It's the same thing. Yeah. Wow. This is crazy. What are people commenting? Well, uh, nothing on this. I Go guess. to the other one. They probably disabled comments. Go to the other one. Oh, people are getting mad. A law is everything. Thank you for everything <laughs> you do. I hate the Antichrist. I have the Antichrist. I hate the Antichrist. You, you only, only exist to rash Christians who will ultimately lose. Uh, well, let's read it in the actual accents that these people speak in. Turn to Jesus, <laughs> all that are blinded by Satan. Only Jesus can save you. Do not let the devil confuse you and destroy you. Turn to Jesus now. When this country was found in, uh, found in nine out of 13 states had state government taxpayer-funded 
churches. You really think the First Amendment gives you a fundamental right to mock Christianity by claiming abortion as a religious sacrament? Yeah, right. But that's crazy. Y'all, I love how the guy's like, I was with him at the beginning when he's like, nine out of 13 states had church, state government taxpayer-funded churches. I was like, yeah, that's fucked up. And? And then he goes, no. Then he goes the other direction. Um, Jesus. The Satan... Are, are we worse than Larry? What's that one guy's podcast or radio show? Oh, uh, uh, who? Larry Elders? No, no. The I, guy that would call whore strippers and have interview strippers. Wait, go up to the. I don't <laughs> like. Go click on the uh, the guy. Lucian Greaves. Yeah, the the guy who found who found. See, he's scary. He is one of his eyes is glass. Hey, if you, uh, it's he, not, yeah, he sacrificed that's not his right self eye. Suspicion. He sacrificed his right eye to Satan. <laughs> he was like, I, I need money for rent, and he ripped out his eye. <laughs> the thing is, like, oh, see, they got married. You know what it is? This is, I mean, I'm not going to compare this to Scientology because it's better than Scientology for sure. Is it? It's not as manipulative. Yeah, dude. But, like, again, what a lot of groups will do, and, and this is true for every group, they'll, like, hook you in with things that are rational. And then when you get in is when it gets crazy. Yeah. You know? They're like, yeah, like everyone should love each other and blah, blah, blah. All the tenants sound good. And you get in and they're like, okay, like ready to perform this abortion ritual? They are. Uh, do you want to become a Satanist? The thing is, Satanism is a fraction. It's fragmented. There's Be- many subgenres of Satanism. My biggest fear is that like, all. My biggest fear is what if Satan is real and he's like a dope guy? What? You know, like, and you don't is, get to go? Yeah, and we don't get to go. I'm pretty sure Satan would be the coolest person ever, but that's because they're not going to come at you like ugly monster. It's going to be the most beautiful person you've ever seen in your life and like super suave. And then you're you're and then Josh is going to be stuck in a hard place because his wife is going to be in heaven and there's going to be a hot Satan in hell. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not Jordan. Yeah. Your satanic no, no, no. Yeah. There's going to be a hot Satan in hell and Josh is going to be like his wife's like, "Come on, Josh, hey, come up here. We can live here for eternity." And then there's going to be just like a fucking pinup model. Or you could come to hell with us, Josh. And Josh is going to be like, ah! here's a, here, here's We a can fuck all the time. And then I get there and she's fucking me. Yeah. Fuck that. What if yeah. it's like a cool party? What if it's like, I'm sure. What if you, hell is like Chuck E. Cheese on your eighth birthday? But it's like that. It, Not bad. But imagine Chuck E. Cheese on your eighth birthday every day for eternity. After a while, you're just like, what the fuck? I'm still partying. I don't want to do this shit no more. Here, here's what a do you think? I think heaven. I think heaven's going to be worse. I think heaven's going to be like fucking going to Sam's Club with your grandma. I think it's rest. Here's a, que- here's a question. You think it's rest? Uh, yeah, there's nothing. It's not like you're there and we're all, oh, we get to be in the clouds. just like, oh, I get to rest now. I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, until mm. Jesus wakes you up on Sundays and you're like, I want to watch the Cowboys. <laughs> and he goes, nah, you're going to pray to me. And we're like, hey, God, thank you. <laughs> For the for the fucking ten thousandth time, thank you for everything. But can I have a me day, please? <laughs> like that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get annoyed because God's very like, look at me. Here's a question: How many people do you think have turned off the show at the, by, the, by now? Not many. I think people like this. No, I, I mean I think we've lost a, our one Christian fan probably. No, because I think. No, our, <sighs> our fan. I think our people are open minded. Oh shit. Um, on Tucker Carlson tonight. Wow, he went on Tucker Carlson. On January 14th. Can we watch that interview? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we can watch it. Look on YouTube if uh, if it's Tucker. there. Now, why do you want to rape babies? <laughs> <laughs> and then on the, on, the, on the news article it says, Satanist rapes babies. <laughs> actually, 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 Tucker, that's not what we do. Now, why do you want to rape toddlers? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, here he is. Let's see this. Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show. This is. <laughs> okay, so this is a this I is a Fox th- News video. Free speech zone not big enough for Satan, Christ. Monument that was dangerous and offensive, of course. So there were lost. This that is like the monument's location. A free pause real quick. Zone, but that in turn. What we're watching right now is like the most two most extremist people having a conversation. If you think about yeah, it, like yeah. a Fox News viewer is like, it's like an old lady from Wisconsin. Knitting. Yeah, she's knitting. Her favorite things are, uh, her favorite things are 
you know, getting her coffee at the diner every morning. Her grandchildren, Saying, her grandchildren. Her, she loves her grandchildren. I love her grandchildren. She's knitting sweaters for all of them, matching. It's gonna be very cute. You know, she loves pecan pie. She just she shouldn't. Her doctor says it ain't good for her, but she's like, we only live once, and when I die, I'm going to Christ anyway. And uh, and she loves holding up signs in Mexican neighborhoods, yelling, "Go back to your country." <laughs> And then on the on so it's her it's that's one side yeah and then the other side is Terminator <laughs> are people that are just like abortions are a fundamental right a ritual. and you should you should be able to endowed to us and you're just like yeah but also it's a ritual and it's a sacrifice like communion it's like communion yeah so well, I, I, okay, this is how shocked they are because. 40, 50 years ago, saying you're a Satanist is insane. Just the way now people are coming out being anti-Semitic and Nazis, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, they, I think they see it in, in that way. Yeah. Like, this is pure evil. We see the Nazis as pure evil. And it's now being more and more out there, right? The way they see the Satanists more evil and evil. Hmm. Okay, let's see what they have so to say. So we jump to the middle? Let's just jump right into it. Group. Which wanted to erect a satanic shrine in the park. Now the city is reversing. Itself Tucker is not happy. To remove all religious symbols from the park instead. Lucian Greaves is the co-founder of the Satanic Temple, and he joins us. He doesn't. Tonight. His eye. Lucian pause it real quick. The you're, eye is not if, helping. If you're bro. listening, he has like an eye that is like cloudy. He looks. <laughs> like a satanic villain. People think like this is Bond Satan movie. reincarnate. Yeah, in like a Bond movie, he would be the guy that would be holding James Bond's girlfriend and, and he would yell, we're going to use our titties <laughs> to eat from them forever! <laughs> and James Bond's like, but I love her. You know? Yeah, he looks good though. Isn't he hot? He looks like he, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he ate James Bond's fucking baby that they wanted to keep. And he goes... We're going to abort it for a ritual. All right. Um, I don't know much about Satanism. What, is, what are the five pillars of Satanism? What is it? We have seven tenets, actually. And actually, they're irrelevant to our claim to be allowed in the free speech zone. Well, they're this relevant to your claim to be issue. a religion. Wait, slow down. They're relevant to your claim to be a religion. And so I just, just give us a sense of what actually, it is. Actually, us is being it... a religion has no bearing on us having a uh, claim aware to the free of that, speech zone either. But you do claim to be a religion. I just want to know what it is. Is it, a, is it the worship of Satan? No, we're actually non-theistic, and modern Satanism has been recognized as non-theistic for some time now. There are actually scholars of modern Satanism. There's books about new religion oh, that bet. cover Satanism. <laughs> He's such... Satan. I love Tucker. No oh, I bet. ...claim to access to the free speech I mean, show. I guess the reason I'm pressing you on this is because I, I sort of know a fake media story when I see one, and the whole Satanism thing seems like that. And I'm trying to take you seriously because I take religious people seriously, all of them. But this seems like a way to kind of them. give the finger to Except. everyone else. I mean, there are probably not a lot of Satanists in this town of 6,600 in Minnesota, are there? Well, there are some, and there are veterans. There's a good deal of veterans within our within our ranks. We have about 100,000 members. That makes sense. Pause real quick. And veterans make sense because veterans have seen some fucked up shit, and they're like, oh, you say there's a God? What I've seen, I've noticed. There is no God. <laughs> He's like, they're like, I don't believe in God. But I believe in the devil. Yeah, they watched a, a Apache helicopter crash into a children's hospital in Kabul, Afghanistan. And they went, yeah, God, he ain't real. <laughs> also, though, I mean, let's not forget that only 1% of, of veterans get deployed. Oh. <laughs> Am I wrong? I, I might be wrong. I love just saying shit. I'm going to be so irresponsible with, with, on this That's show. a very... Oh, that's... Why are you making that claim? Like, why like, isn't it? Is it true? Can we look? I'm sorry. Can we just this? Can we look it up? What percent of veterans were deployed? Because I'm going all out today. Um, veterans that aren't deployed don't have the same level of PTSD as veterans that are deployed, and that's right. Roughly forty percent. Never, <laughs> nev <laughs> never, ne get, no, never, never get deployed. Ten to twenty percent of those find themselves on a deployment uh, that wind up in a combat zone. Remember that it is not that is not ten to twenty percent of the total. That's ten percent of four of of uh, the forty of the forty. No, no, no. That's remember that's not ten to twenty. 
Three million. Three million service members were deployed. Let's not use the actual number. Let's use the percent <laughs> so it sounds lower. <laughs> like, let's use some Tucker Carlson tactics. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry. Right I'm sorry. That was a joke. Also, this guy is. Starting, I love veterans. This guy is starting his argument. <laughs> you don't have to say that. <laughs> Just pull back. No, this guy is also not helping his argument, uh, Lucian, because Tucker goes, "Hey." What are your pillars? And he just goes, I don't have to tell you the pillars to be considered a religion. It's like, hey, man, your pillars are actually, you know, might convince people like, oh, the, you know, modern Satanists aren't that crazy. But that's not, that's not what he's on the show to talk about. He's on the show to talk about the, the, uh, the constitutionality of a satanic monument. He's not on, he's not on the show to talk about. Yeah, but he should, he should lighten up a little bit. Just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see what Tucker has yeah. to say about this. For veterans who don't identify with us, who still stood up for our right to speak, and we find that very often when we ask for equal access in the open forum, it's usually veterans who come forward and speak right. in our defense, and they say well, that I mean, look, these I, values I, of free speech and pluralism are the values that they fought for. Amen, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. Hence your appearance tonight. I think people should have a right to speak, but also they should have to answer questions. And the no. right to speak no. and the right to sort of give the finger to the residents of this little town in Minnesota, not exactly. <laughs> that was the not same. what we were doing. The the, well, the monument, if you doing. if you, no, of course it is not. So if you look at the monument, it's very respectful. It's reverent. It's a very sober, uh, uh, simple monument, really. And and to, it, to, uh, it to encourages. What? It's a monument a, to what? To veterans. It, it, this was first and foremost something to honor the veterans, the veterans who have fought and served. All veterans. Not all veterans are Christian. Not Can you pause it, Josh? And turn the voice on. And also our Lord Payment, the, the fourth king of hell. You know, you know, as the devil, I'm a huge fan of war movies. So I love veterans. Because every time a veteran dies, I'm just entertained, baby. Have you seen a new comedy called, uh... Called uh, Defense on Iraqi Freedom. <laughs> that 90s comedy. Who wrote so Will Ferrell? Funny. I love Will Ferrell. Was he ever... <laughs> Did you see? You know who my favorite comedic actor is who? as the devil? It's Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Dude, Adolf Hitler was the modernization of comedy films. Because you might like. I'm actually really against Hitler. I'm really against anti semitism Like, as Satan, I denounce anti semitism <laughs> in all of its forms. Uh, I think Kanye West is... I mean, he's Satan. He's people, fucked up. Yeah, people are saying that Kanye is coming to hell. Uh, not my hell. <laughs> uh, I will let him know. Yeah, I'm not gonna let Kanye into my hell. <laughs> what do you want me to... Platform an anti semite? I'm not gonna platform an anti semite in my no, hell. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, I may be the devil, but I'm not a piece of shit. <laughs> also, I burn my Yeezys. I burn my Yeezys. I burn my Yeezys. In, a, in Hellfire. Satanic Hellfire. Do you wanna hear something crazy? What? So. I was, uh, I was doing a satanic ritual abortion with my wife. <laughs> and Love our, your wife, by the way. Yeah, and our midwife. I watched her have sex with you. <laughs> I have good form. I've been working on it. Can you tell that my sex form is it's, it's powerful. <laughs> Thank you. No, but, so we were doing our satanic ritual abortion. It's kind of, I compare it to, uh... Communion and Christianity. <laughs> it's the same thing. And so we were doing that and our midwife walked in. Do you want to know what she was wearing? What? She was wearing Yeezys. <laughs> so you know what I did? What'd you do? I told her she's not allowed to ever have an abortion. <laughs> and she goes, what? I want to sacrifice my baby to Satan. And I said, no way, Jose. We're not going to sacrifice that anti-Semitic baby. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> the king, the sounds of hell. All right, let's, fin let's finish this. And I don't want... 
Oh. Wow. But they did fight for pluralism and they did fight for free speech. <coughs> and to that end, it's, it's nice to know that we can preserve those values. When they shut down the open forum, uh, we weren't actually celebrating that. We built this monument. We were ready to install it. We wanted to put it there, and it seemed like the, the residents of Belle Plaine weren't entirely uh, up in arms about this. Uh, some of the word we got back said people— They weren't up—pause real quick. He up. goes, they weren't up in arms. The last footage we saw— Was, was them up in arms. <laughs> Literally, the arms were up. Well, what, Tony, are you surprised that a Satanist is lying? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this has been Tucker before Carl. Before we go, before we go, I think I just got a text. Um, Sarah and Tanya, they actually just joined the Church of Satan. No way. Yeah. Should we should we call them in? Let's call them in. Hey. Uh... Oh wait. Oh, we're back. What's up? The podcast just got. Bitches. Oh yeah. So uh I'm pretty stoked about our church, our new church. I it's the church of Satan, right? You know, yeah. It's I mean I wouldn't call it the church. We're we're more of like a club or a a crew. Sarah, can a I vibe. tell you it's really I... a vibe of Satan. <laughs> can I tell you something, Sarah? What? My parents yeah. are pissed. <laughs> When I told them that I'm a Satanist now, they were as pissed at me when I told them I was dating Tyrone in the ninth grade. No. Yeah. What? Your dad said some things about Tyrone that were crazy. My dad is a racist man, <laughs> but I still love him. You got to love your dad. I, Tanya, I, can I tell you something? Uh, what? some news. What, what? What's going on? So, uh, I'm pregnant. Oh my god, baby shower! Hold, hold, hold on. Okay. I'm seven weeks pregnant. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. And you know, I was just thinking we started this church or vibe, I'm saying. <laughs> and I was thinking to kick off the yeah. new founding of our club. Maybe I could have a abortion ritual and like. So are you talking yeah. about abortion ritual? Are you talking about just going to the doctor and just no, doing a procedure? No, do doctors are Christian spies. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to be my midwife, and I want you to abort my. Midwife. I want you to abort my child. But midwife, do you mean like that time me and you got very drunk and had a threesome with that autistic kid in we, the wheelchair? We, we can have sex. We can do the abortion and have sex. All right. Remember that guy? Is he is he the dad? The guy with the fucked up left Lucian? eye? Lucian? Lucian's my boyfriend. Is he the dad? He's one of the dads. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's the other dad? Satan. Huh. I fucked Satan and I liked it. Was it good? Was it dirty? Was he's it a, hot? He has a small cock. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why he's so mad all the time. <laughs> he's just a small dick. How big are we talking, girlfriend? We're talking like eight eight inches. <gasps> that little dick has eight or nine. piece of shit. And I was like, yeah, you like fucking me with that small dick? I wish your uh, your dick should be at least twelve, Satan. And I was. But anyway, what's new with you? <laughs> I I don't think I want to be a Satanist anymore. I don't want to be a Satanist. I like Jesus. You know why I like Jesus? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because he turned water into wine. That sounds like a fun time. Killing killing babies in a ritual seems. Boring and loud and dirty. I wanna, I wanna turn water into wine, and I wanna turn sand into Molly, and I wanna party and dance. And you? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a midwife and have sex with little dick Satan. Then, and we. But you go, move over to Texas Christian University <laughs> and go to Coachella with your with your sorority whores. And can I come? <laughs> 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 
dude. You gotta do a Molly and rave. Yeah, honestly, imagine you doing Molly while being pregnant. That's gonna chill out that baby. <laughs> that baby's gonna be like evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If I ever get pregnant, <laughs> if I ever get pregnant, I'm gonna inject LSD. <laughs> Into my stomach. Nice. Where the baby is. And the baby's gonna come out tripping balls. That's hilarious. When I I want the first time my baby to see me to go, oh my god, is that my mom? <laughs> or, or is that a lizard? <laughs> I'll just be playing Pink Floyd on my iPhone 4S. <laughs> <laughs> like shattered screen. Yeah. I think I think. I, res I respect that you're Satanist. Thank you. Even though I know we're going to fight in an eternal war, <laughs> until then, I blood think... Blood will shed. Blood will shed. People will die. <laughs> I, will, I will kill you myself. But I love you. <laughs> I love you too, bitch. And I think until then, <laughs> I think until that time comes, I think we just make the best out of it. And not let it ruin our friendship. DJ, hit it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Celebrate Break good times. Come on! Oh, yeah, man. They just erect the statue of Baphomet <laughs> in Washington, D.C. <laughs> hit it! Da, 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 da. Come on! All right, this was fun. All right, hey. This was good. Wow. How about you hit that subscribe button, you cocksuckers? Jesus. That was mean. That was... Uh, <laughs> so we should have... You... My bad. I like... Which is good if you suck cock. Was... <laughs> Anyone can do it. I love the veterans. <laughs> is there a way we can renounce everything we've said at the end of this? I think... And everything I th we've done? I think if people listen back to this show ever, I think they realize, yeah, these are troubled boys. These boys are troubled. They're lost. We we can't take anything they say seriously, you know? Except for me, whenever I say anything. I think very soon, people that listen to the show, if they saw us, they would just hug us, and they'll go, it's going to be okay. Or they have a very long serrated knife, and they jam it into a <laughs> shell, and they rip out our heart, and they say, this is you did this to yourself. Yeah. Can we not manifest? I'm, they, go, they go, I am you, Sean. <laughs> I am you. Can we can we just not Let's manifest not, yeah. that second part? Manifestation is not real. <laughs> All right. Anyone who does anything does it on their own accord. Insanity is uh, a, a lie created by the pharmaceutical industrial complex. Well, I'm Sean Riley. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching the Riley Report. <laughs> You've been watching you can, Riley Carlson. You can find me on a uh, you know comedian Tony Casillas. I got some gigs coming up. I'm going to be in San Antonio with Michael Blaustein this. This weekend and uh, in San Antonio, yeah, at the LOL, at the LOL, Fuck Friday, yeah. Saturday, and Sunday. That's dope. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe to the show. Leave a comment. We love you guys. Sean, uh, I'll be in uh, H Town this weekend, baby. At uh, the what's well, H Town? Houston, Houston. Houston. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'll be at the Secret Group uh, on the shows at eight and ten, and then I'm gonna be at the Riot on the Late Show on Friday. Very stoked for that. And then on Sunday. Pure fun comedy here in yep. Austin, Texas. Should be fun. So come out if you're local. We'll we'll have a big show. We'll sacrifice something. I don't know. <laughs> um, Josh, uh, December second, I'll be headlining Upstage Comedy Club in San Antonio. Get your tickets today on Upstage Comedy Club LLC.com. And uh, starting... it's a hilarious website name. And, uh... I'm sorry. I have a, I have a, I have a... <laughs> one last thing to say to the audience. Go see Josh live, but. <laughs> If we find out the only person you support live doing stand up is Josh, <laughs> we will we will totally, have you on the show. We, yeah, we will totally understand. <laughs> uh, starting December eighth uh, at the uh, Creek in the Cave, Creek in the Cave uh, Comedy Freak uh, starts. So we're gonna be doing a show every Thursday at seven. As really? Long as, as long as Rogan doesn't take unless the show, Joe Rogan cancels, then us, cancels. then we'll have it. Yeah, Comedy yeah. Freaks. Co yeah, comedy. F R E Q. No, freak comedy. Freak comedy. Oh, okay. Freak comedy. Yeah. Freak. I thought it was like comedy freaks. It's just no. like Sean coming out like it's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a comedy freak. <laughs> Frogs are the animal of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for listening. As always. Adios. We love you and hail Satan. Hail Satan.